everywhere. Yeah, hello, mate. Oh, oh. woo, hey, hey. Hello, Hi. everybody. I'm taking full responsibility for the uh, the lateness of the, the start time. It is completely my fault. Um, my goldfish didn't want to swim back to me when I, I took it out for a walk, so uh, I had to get my my bait and fishing rod and go out there and try to catch them. I've had to swap us around. Uh, my camera's on the wrong side and all sorts. I, <laughs> I, I, I was really rushed. Go put me on the spot by being so late. Yeah. And then, believe it or not, a salmon came out of nowhere and just like one bit my goldfish. So then I had to go out with a hatchet, kill the salmon, pull the goldfish out of the salmon's stomach and perform CPR. And then luckily my goldfish is still alive. And then a hawk came down as, as soon as I got the heartbeat back and plucked my poor goldfish out of my hand. So I had to take a bow and arrow and shoot the hawk down. It was incredible. The shot was perfect, like <laughs> right through the heart, and then you know the caw, the caca, caca of the the hawk as it slowly came back down to earth. <laughs> yeah. What you should have said is you overslept. I mean, that, <laughs> that, the fact that you was dreaming like that, that was absolutely fine as well. I thought you were going to cut me off at some point. I could have kept going. I'm no, I was, I was, I was enjoying it. I even tried to look like really. Um, not impressed but then like started chuckling <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i was shaking my head like man what a loser but then you've done the caca caca <laughs> and that made me laugh <laughs> that always gets them uh right anyway greetings everyone we won't um try and dr drag the intro or the you know the start of the podcast out too long but um we've got a guest coming but there was having technical difficulties um so they're having to restart their computer and stuff uh, so there's a good likelihood that the cameras will get messed up when they join, but then we'll just fix it on the fly and we'll just pretend that it didn't happen. Uh, so yeah. I hope you're all well. I'm just going to hand you over to Go. Go's going to be pretty much in charge of this podcast. Normally it's me being uh -oh. the loud and uh, obnoxious bossy one, but not tonight because I've put absolutely zero effort, zero planning, nothing into this whatsoever. Uh, just literally due to just lack of time. So Go has prepared everything for us tonight. We've got a quiz. We've got a quiz that we're going to do with the guest. We've got... That's it. Did you get that set up? You, yeah. You got all the all those imported and everything? Okay. Do you have the... Are we bringing back the easel for this one? No. Um, by, oh. by, by set up, what I've done is put them all on my top screen. Um, and we're just... It's, mm. it's lazy, mate. Lazy I missed bit. the easel, dude. Yeah, I'll bring it. But the easel can make a return. Just not today. I, I always look blurry. It's it's Discord. It's uh it's server lag. That's what it is. You look you look fine to me. <laughs> and then again, I, I think I'm still hungover from um not last night, the night before, to be fair. So I don't think my we, eyes we, are we working properly. We won't talk properly. about that night. Are we yeah, not talking that, about that? No, no, that's no. <laughs> we we save that for uh, the weekend show. All right, all right. Anyway, go on, crack on. What's going on today, then? Um, not much going on in Season of Discovery, so it's kind of like a, a bit of a speculation stream, a bit of a fun laid back stream. You know, we're usually serious, we're uptight, we're getting you guys like information in the smoothest pipeline imaginable. And this time it, we're going to, if we tangent off, it's going to be fine. You know, if it, if it takes seven, eight hours to get through the show, then it is what it is. Um, a little bit of uh, wrath news, I guess. You can you can get a a pet from this new pirate plunder event. I, I have no idea what that is, but that's really the only news for classic outside of the beta. But Cataclysm talk is saved just for the weekend. You know, we started the Saturday show, uh, first Cata chat episode. It was a great show, one of one of my funnest shows in a a while. Um, and we'll have another episode of Cata Chat on this upcoming Saturday, so stay tuned for that one. But this one is Season of Discovery slash Wrath Classic. But yeah, we're It's we're not right. It's not the... Wrath Classic, is it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just yeah. Season of Discovery. I, I feel like really? I do need to cut you off. I'm trying to let you roll with it, but you're <laughs> you it, to me it just comes across like you're trying to fill with silence and you don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> trying to cover all, all dot my eyes and cross my teeth. I, I got I got one one post that I do want us to go through, and we'll go through it with a guest. Yeah. Um, 
it's just the the I don't know if you saw what Wow Ed posted about season of discovery and Agron's tweets just posted his recent oh. tweets, um, which yeah. we'll just read through because a couple of those wound me up. So that'll be fun to talk about. Um, sorry, yeah, yeah, carry on. That, that was it. Uh, but in terms of Raf, there's no news, and yeah, well, I, I promise I will do my best to contain myself and not compare everything to Cataclysm. Not feel the need to mention Cataclysm in every sentence. I'm really going to try and be good tonight. All right. Uh, I have a prediction that tomorrow we get news of phase three. I'm, I'm, I'm penciling it. I'm not penciling it. I'm pinning it in right now with ink that tomorrow, mark my words, we will have sod phase three news announced. And when I'm wrong, nothing's going to happen. So I will take full credit though. If the one in 30 chance, we got to have news in the next 30 days. So if, if I'm actually right, I'm just going to have gloating rights for next week. And I'll be like, ah, I told you so. Well, but there's, the guests, uh, I know I there's some ready. interviews. There's some interviews coming up, um, which I already they know. They have time know for about. interviews. Yeah, yeah. But oh, with, with this oh. whole Plunderstorm stuff just launching, uh, I don't know if we'll get anything this week. I could be wrong. We'll see. But yeah, I, I if I was to put, uh, you know, uh, have a guess, I would say next week will be when we get actual phase three information. But the plunder storm did kind of throw a hitch in my uh my prediction. Mm. Have you have you done any of it? Has anyone in chat any no, of you guys in chat so done any of it? It looks really fun actually. It's separate than retail because my thoughts was he had to log into retail and it was a part of retail, but it's its own separate beast. Like it's its own version of World of Warcraft. Is that what? Is that right? No, I think you have to be in retail. But when someone's in the oh, main okay. menu of it, it shows that they're in the main menu and not in retail. So I'm not sure. I'm I, honestly, I've not, I've not even. Yeah. Look, I've just seen like you know a few clips of people playing it, and it and it looks fun. But I assume you actually need to. Oh, so fish, if you've done rounds, I assume you have to actually load up, load up retail. No, it's on the retail client. Okay, uh, where did you find data mine runes for phase three? They were data mine m months ago. They were data, they're the the head and. Um, what was the other slot? Or was it just head? No, it might have just been head bracer, rooms. Bracer. Oh, bracer. Yeah, and bracer rooms. Head and bracer rooms. Um, so on the basis they didn't yeah. make it in phase two, it's highly likely that they're uh, they're phase three. That was a weird thing because this past week, all of a sudden, everybody's making like phase three data mine rune videos. It's like, yeah, that's been out known for a month and a half, two months. Like, what? Mm, cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but cool. Yeah, I think I think the guest is ready. Okay, well, if um, um if you want to get her in the call, and I'll see if the cameras work. Yep, they are on their way. Cameras loading up. Cool. Uh, but yeah, that the the thunderstorm stuff does look fun. Yeah, I don't know what longevity if it's got, and you know, if they end up doing something similar to it outside of retail, that would be interesting, but. Um, oh, hang on. So what you're saying, fish? So on top right, uh, there's a WoW Dragonflight button and WoW Plunderstorm button. All oh, right, okay. On the character screen, you can pick which to play. All right, in okay, cool. I might, yeah, I might uh, check it out. I'm not even paid up to the current uh, WoW. I don't even know what my expansion is right now. It might be. Does one start with an S? It would be Shadowlands, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I have Shadowlands. <laughs> That's it. Hello again. Hello, hello. Uh, right, let me go on this screen, and hopefully, when, when your camera goes on, everything gets positioned. Oh, ne nearly. <laughs> mm, not, not quite, but close enough. Production team is working. Yep, you fit. In in introduce the guest, go while I sort the cameras out. Oh yeah, usually I have time to build up some hype and get some stuff out of the way I'm, I'm thrown off guard here um let's see where do i start this is the lovely salubaton which is uh french for cheese omelet i believe uh there might have been a slight translation mix up there but I'm pretty sure that's right a uh, hardcore player from what i remember and then more recently season of discovery and wrath of the lich king classic so welcome, salut baton. Thank I you, like thank saying you. that. It Hello. Rolls off the tongue. It's not like cellar door. Salut baton. 
Uh, yeah, go on, carry on, go. I'm still sorting cameras out. <laughs> We uh, Scotty likes to do some icebreakers sometimes. I don't know if he has any lined up for that. I think we should, as it's uh, Salou's yeah. first first but, time on the podcast. I think we should uh, interrogate her a little bit. Uh, uh, oh, I'm yeah. down for that. Do it. We got to get the the normal stuff out of the way though first. So, uh, like horde or alliance. Horde, definitely. Perfect, perfect. You're starting off strong, batting one for one. <laughs> Uh, what classes have you been playing in Wrath and on Sod? Shaman. Shaman's Sh number one. Shaman. And hardcore, too? I did get that right, right? Yeah. You, you did play hardcore, right? Yeah. I have a six-year warlock in hardcore. She was in the hardcore all-stars team that never happened. But I keep trying to level a 60 shaman in hardcore. I don't think any, I'll ever get it, but I have fun trying. Any self-found tunes or... Haven't gotten in there yet. They oh, you mean on the uh, no, not yeah, the, the cell phone ones, mode. No. Yeah, okay. I can only stick to like one game, one expansion, one style of game at a time, or else That's I me. just have no interest in any of them. I I'm envious of the people that can just like dive right into every single game they do and play like twelve different games a week. Yeah, I've got uh. This is my first time in a while that I'm kind of playing two games at a time. And the last time that happened, it was Season of Mastery and TBC. And I had to, I got to a fork in the road and I had to choose one of them. And it was uh, TBC. So now I, I feel like I'm going to have that same decision to make Cataclassic or Season of Discovery. I don't know which one I'm going to pick. I'm going to try to do both, but we'll see how that works out. I just don't want to think about that yet. <laughs> it's like, uh oh. <laughs> I'm going to start playing retail as well. Mm, yikes. When, when War Within comes out. Far. Well, pre-patch pre for War Within. I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to start playing retail again. Might as well. Uh, uh, anyway, more <laughs> interrogations. Uh, so that, 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 like, you get it. You get tell it. us, uh, what about your, like, your history with WoW? Like, have you only played like, since Classic launch, or did you play back in the day? Have you played private servers? Like, what's your story? I... Yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, all, I, just I all played, of it. I was on Lathan back in Vanilla WoW, and I remember the gates being opened, and I remember all uh, the big raiders trying to down or trying to clear Nax. That's like my first WoW memory. But okay. I've played on. I've tried on private servers; they're not as fun. Um. Did you play so... through retail? Yeah, that's what I was going to say no. next. Like, did you? Oh, well, you... at the time, it um, no uh, mists. That was when I stopped playing, and it was technically retail back then. But I was it because there were there were pandas? And that's where you're like, no, nah, this I'm drawing the line. Heck no, no. <laughs> I for some reason I did other things with my life. I went. I was in college. Uh, couple people died and you just there was no i didn't make time for video games uh that's when i stopped playing too pretty much and maybe i've made it through miss and then stopped at the next one with warlords of draenor i think came after that and i, I might have quit like phase one of that one same thing though like i moved i had to buy a new house and had a kid and all this other stuff so it was that was when i was like hey, yeah retail i don't have time for this and then i came back for classic and I haven't stopped since 2019. And no end in sight, go. Now, now you're I on know. the now you're on I the know. cataclysm bandwagon. Took you long enough to I get mean, on it. Uh. And then we've got mop. My favorite. No, it's not really my favorite, but I'll probably play mop if it comes to it. Yes. Hundred percent. Um. What else? What else do we need to know? So, what sort of um, like uh, like raiding are you doing at the moment? Like, is it just purely season of discovery, or are you, you're raiding on Wrath? Yeah, we uh, my guild on Wrath. We had our last official guild raid uh, weeks ago. Um, but the only yeah, the only raiding I do is Nomer. Now in season of discovery. On numerous I did, uh... characters, I assume, or no, just my shaman. Oh, good. That's what I like to hear. I'm just saying, just one character. A Thirty-eight rogue. I don't know. Oh, I'm wanting to like get as much as I can out of all the questing, get all the gold from it before I hit 40. So I'm just not really playing on her right now. Cool. Go. Anything else? 
What about your favorite profession? Like take out its benefits. If you could choose a profession that was just like, yeah, I would do this IRL. Fishing. We, fishing? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Scotty said first aid. So, I mean, I guess I could be, uh, what's the other one? I'll be an archaeologist. That's coming uh, soon. Uh, in uh, uh, but this archaeology. Isn't kind of yeah, I was about to say archaeology. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong podcast, mate. Save that till Saturday. Whoops. Hmm. All right, cool. Well, I think as a as a bit of an icebreaker, your uh, your quiz that you've put together go could be quite interesting. Do you remember doing the example question the other night? Yeah, and I got it right straight away. Have you took that question oh, out? Yeah, I took it out. I replaced it because <laughs> I feel like you were cheating, and I was like, "There's no way this dude knew this answer right away." I can't even remember what the question was. It was how much XP does it take to get from level twenty five to forty? Oh, like eight hundred thirty seven k. It's something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah I, 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 four I just cal calculated it really quick. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but some of the, some of these questions are a little easier than the other, the other ones. It's not in any specific order. It's like, oh yeah, it progressively gets harder down to question ten. You might know question seven like right off the bat or something like that. And I don't even know what order they got sent to Scotty in. So. Uh, all right. Well, uh, I'll put them on and I'll tell you which uh, which is up first. Um, I won't. Did, did I you won't. look up the answer, Scotty? I don't need to look up the answers. You're joking. You're the, okay, okay. I don't know any so of them. So I'm the only one that knows the actual <laughs> answers because I didn't even send you the answer key. I was like, I, I want you to try to figure out the answers too. Oh, this, right. yeah, this, yeah. this is for, for Miss Batom. Okay, well, the first one is um, which item can't you buy from Ziri the Wrench Little Sprocket? Uh, is it GG12082 cartridge fuses? Tear tokens, profession recipes, or Zira's mystery crate. You asking me that? Yes. I have no idea yes. who that is. <laughs> you know, you, you can use some context clues here. Context clues. There's there's four different items. Three of these come from the same place. One of them does not. I'll, I'll give you a hint. These, these are just have the, to guess. It's these actually one. went backwards. So this no one, idea. the first, the the second five that I did were supposed to be like phase two. I forgot about this part. And the first five were kind of for phase one. So <laughs> Ziri, the wrench, little sprocket, is the vendor that's inside of Nomergon. You know, you kill the first boss, you go down the steps. Yeah. So the there's a, there's a vendor down there, and yeah. you can get three of these types of items from her. Look, I've never heard her name said out loud. Me, me neither. <laughs> little, little gnome, little tiny, little tiny yeah. gnome. What about her? Yeah, go. What about uh, her? She, she sells these things, but one of them she doesn't. Okay. We've we've got a couple of answers in chat too. Some might be might be some helpful ends. Some people might be trying to throw you off. This is just a good example question. So yeah, it's a. <laughs> the 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 GG twelve cartridge fuses when you're on the quest drop from the drop from the robots. I, I had a Scotty threw me off guard when he got the other answer right. So then when I made this question to replace that one, I was like, this one's gonna be hard as fuck. I'm like, <laughs> so it was kind of rough. We started off with this one. All right, well then the, the next one then. Uh, so how many? Do you want me, no, I can't really share my screen. I'd rather you was reading them out. This is the rune question. Go. <laughs> uh, I'll wait for it to come up there on the screen. I'm a little bit behind the rune question. Maybe yeah. I should pull these up. How many new runes were added in phase oh, two? Goes. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, nope. <laughs> Getting the calculator out, the yeah. TI-89. <laughs> wave of. Oh, I, I've got them open right here, but I don't know. I honest, I'm a, I'm offended that you think I know the answers to these questions. <laughs> how many, did, how many did Shaman get? I don't know. You play Shaman. So you think I pay attention to what I'm playing? <laughs> no. I, I get the ones that go for balance druid, and that's pretty much it for druid. So yeah, I'm the same way. So there, I... there was two new slots. Uh, there's nine classes. So if there's three per slot, are you sure you got the right answer? Here? Nine, I, I think so. You we, haven't got the right. You haven't got. It. Well, you haven't got the right answer. Here. 
There's seven new sure? ones just for shaman. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it'll yeah. So so it's it's six six nines plus one. It's six. No, plus two. Why plus two? Mage and shaman. What do you mean, mage and shaman? Mage had three on each. Mage had uh, an extra one. Oh, arcane barrage, arcane barrage, pirate, uh, hot streak, spell frost, and fire frost. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So plus two then. Plus two. How did the calculator well, work six. out for you, Salu? <laughs> I'm not even six six times nine fifty four. I've already forgotten the plus, question to be honest. Plus two. <laughs> Some about uh, phase two runes. How many right? runes? How many? I will email you the answer at the end of the night. <laughs> uh, uh, seven classes had six runes, and then two classes had seven, so the answer would be a fifty six. I had to like verify in like three different sources to make sure that that was the right answer, and I'm hoping that is right. That, Some, that is right. Gonna, that's a that's a hundred percent right. Somebody's gonna come into chat and be like, "Um, actually." <laughs> yeah, I gotta be honest. I always forget about spell frost bolt for mages just because it's fucking yeah. useless. The that chest rune for dual wield shaman caught me off guard the first time. I had fifty five, and then I found that one out, and I was like, "Oh." A new chest rune in phase two. That's weird. All right, you can read the next one out. Go. Um, the STV blood coin vendor. Early no. <laughs> well, now I gotta find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What is the name of the STV blood coin vendor? Is it A. Mizen, B. Rutherford Twing, C. Samuel Hawk? Or D Kadamu. I mean, I I, I would have a guess because I got to be honest, I don't actually know this, but I would have said Myzin. Just That's because fair. it just That's sound fair. it sounds the most trollish. I don't know. I just went there and bought my rings, bought my cape, and then never went back there again. Like I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, A A seems like quite popular in chat. It does. I mean, Zach said B, so it's definitely not B. Rutherford Twing. Rutherford Twing is the Defiler Supply Officer, which is like the uh, Arathi Basin rep for Horde. What was B? So B is out. Rutherford Twing. Oh, no. It, it's Mizen. It is for Mizen. Sure. I know that for a fact because 100%. I know exactly where they are in Azeroth, and I have been to them many times oh. because I partake in every single Blood Moon. Yeah, in Booty Bay, right? No, I don't. It's like you've never watched play before. <laughs> <laughs> I felt embarrassed at first that I don't know the questions or the answers to your questions, but you you don't even know. <laughs> you no, I, no I, 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 would, I really wouldn't worry <laughs> about you. it, yeah. I'm not. Uh, I mean, I have I have some background here, Scotty, for the other answers. Just in case there's any lore masters like Table Slam in the chat here, we got Samuel Hawk is the League of Arthur Supply Officer, so the Alliance Arathi Basin, and then uh, Kadamu is like the big hey, he's glowy the red NPC boss in the uh, the event. Yeah, it was uh, it, it was more a um, uh, process of elimination for what me. Is Scotty, what or not Scotty? What is Zach saying C for now? What is he? Uh, which item was not added to the Waylaid Supply Faction? He, he's answering the next question. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got the, the bind on account ring, the 16 slot bags, the bind on account bracers, or bind on account neck. I never even got my Waylaid Supply rep up to uh, Revered. But I, I did... I, I might have been able to get this one right without actually looking at the vendor to make this question up. Yeah, I mean, I am. I genuinely am torn between two. Um, I don't recall seeing BOA braces. I only remember seeing a ring and a neck. But then I also feel like it might be a bit early for a sixteen slot bag at level forty. But no, I, I, I would, I, I, I would guess at C. What about you, Solo? Oh, don't guess okay. if you if you know. Oh, you'd say C as well. <laughs> yeah. C is correct. 
That is absolutely correct. And Zach, with answering it first, I think, well... Yeah, that, that's what threw me off. When you put it up there. With, with, yeah, Zach, with Zach, Zach saying C, right, I was like, like oh. mm, it's definitely not C then. Uh, the next one is the first na the name of the guild that cleared yeah. Gnome Ragon first. We have A, Beef Bar, B, Onslaught, C, Progress, or D, none of the above. I'm testing your... Uh, your speed run, your world first run knowledge here. Yeah, Solo, you can answer because uh, it could be any of them. <laughs> I'm going to go with none of the above. None of the above. Oh, so, so no yeah, one cleared that... it. Yeah, nobody's cleared it yet. <laughs> that, that is the right answer. It is none of the above. That's the name of the guild. That's not. Yeah, I know. I was it's joking. Not that... <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> it was a bit of a. A trick question there. I liked putting that as D as the answer, so <laughs> that, that one was a fun one for me. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> I did. I took pride in that one, okay? Uh, the next one is, which is not the name of a battlefield lieutenant in the Battle for Ashenvale PvP event? <laughs> this one is a hard one. <laughs> Looking back on this one compared to the other ones, yeah, this one's, uh, this one's a bit difficult. We got Lorandar, Seridwin, Gendria and Moogle the Sly. I would say. I would say. C. Gendria. Why would you say that, Scotty? Because that's not one of the lieutenants in the Battle for Ashenvale PvP oh. event, go. Oh, okay, okay. Are, do we have an agreement between Salu and Scotty? No, I think it's Moogle. Oh, Moogle. Moogle. All right, so let's go with Moogle. Well, Laradar guards the Glaive Camp just east of Ashranar, so that is the name of one of them. Serdwin guards the Research Camp just south of Splinter Tree Post. And Moogle, the Sly, guards the Lumber Camp, so the answer is C. Jandria. What that's a the name guess. Of a, that's the <laughs> name of the Priest Trainer in Darnassus. Pure guess, pure guess. The, I just, I just one... tried to play it off with confidence. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you played pretty confident. <laughs> the, uh, the next one is, it's, I think a little, a little easier. Hopefully, hopefully. Which item was not needed to craft an epic in phase one? We've got spider silk boots, toughened leather gloves, shining silver breastplate, silver or shine sil silvered. No, yeah, yeah, shining silver breastplate. Sil oh, silver. Oh, my gosh. Or the silver bronze <laughs> gauntlets. <laughs> I know what answer I would lock in, but oh, let, let Sulu go first. Did you craft an epic in uh, phase one? Just one of them for my druid. Mm, really so that, what, did, which uh, one did you make? The gloves or the boots? It was the gloves, yeah. Okay, so B is out, so we're down to A, C, or D. You go D. It was Scotty? D. I would, I would be all over the D as well, yeah. Nothing out of the ordinary for Scott, and the answer is D. Silvered bronze gauntlets. That is uh, not the item that was used. It is an actual item. I didn't create that name up myself. But uh, yeah, Are we, are we done with this stupid D. game yet? Oh, no, there's still one more. <laughs> we got oh, they're still more, three right? more. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. <laughs> the, the next one's not a usable consume in phase one. I'm gonna get a gin. <laughs> Anything to get away from this. <laughs> We've got the superior healing potion, Rumsey Rum Black Label, Shadow Protection Potion, and or the free action potion. One of these was not able to be used. You could get this item in phase one, just couldn't use it. Healing Dr potion. Oh, that was quick. I've got it right here quick. on my bars. <laughs> <laughs> the, heal the superior so healing potion is level 35. Yep. Rumsey Rum, I fished those up. It was like an extra 15 stam. If you did BFD at all, you know that it was a requirement to have Shadow Protection Potion and FAPS. So. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Next. Is it Scotty? 
Scotty guessed the wrong one. He he messaged me and he said FAP. Oh, that that was for something else. Yeah, that was uh yeah, that was a different conversation. Uh which boss did we not see in Black Fathom Deeps that was in the original dungeon? We've got Death Speaker Jarba, Old Syracus, Mutinous the Devourer, or Ashir the Sleepless. Hmm. Well, Azir the Sleepless is a rare in Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. Old, old Seracus we don't fight, but he is in Black Fathom Deeps, dead by the turtle. Mutanus the Devourer, I believe, is the Murloc boss. Is it? I, I think. Murloc boss? Yeah. Was that was his name not Mut Mutana? Oh, Mutanus the Devourer. Oh, I know that. I, but maybe that is from somewhere different. I don't know. It is. Where's Mutanus the Devourer Wh from, Solo? Oh, is it Wailing, Wailing Caverns? Caverns? So, oh right, okay. Mm -hmm. So, so it's got to be is a then. Also. Yeah, Mutanus the Devourer. Yeah, it is the Mur a Murloc boss. Yeah, but just in the wrong dungeon. Uh. So it's got to be Death Speaker Jar Jarba then, surely. Just by a process well, I, of elimination. I, I guess this was a, a miswording on my part. So it's old Seracus. That was it was old Seracus, yes. Yeah. I didn't realize that the corpse, the dead corpse, was next to Gamora. I should have not said This is not such see, a shit not quiz. Did we, I know. Who the fuck made this quiz up? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you threw me off with the old Seracus bit. Like <laughs> it, 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 you know, I, I would if it said which boss did we not fight. I would have yeah, said old surrogate. Yeah. But did we not see? I should have proofread. Um, great. So where's that, Death that Speaker was, was Jagba? Good. Is Death Speaker Jagba in Razor and Crawl? Yes, RFK. Yeah, okay. All right. you're, you're, you've got some knowledge on you there, Scotty. Goddamn. Dungeons, raids. Yeah, I, I, I remember all those things yeah. on the most part. But, um... All right. All right. This Come one, on. I this one I liked. I really liked this one. Oh. I, I could have gone two different ways with this one. I chose this way. So, which of these is not the name of a dev that has had an interview about Season of Discovery? We've got Anna Resendez. We've got Clayton Stone. We've got Tim Jones, or we have Josh Bluefield. <laughs> I mean, I've 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 got a I've got a good. Good idea. What do you reckon? Uh, how, how's your dev knowledge, Salu? I think she follows all of them on Twitter. I'm pretty sure. I think I follow one of them. Which one? I don't remember. <laughs> but they po they they tweet funny things, so I follow yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's only one. I I, I personally have done interviews with three of these four people um it's just one of them don't ring a bell i i don't <laughs> i don't recall ever doing a, an in a dev interview with josh bluefield that is the correct answer josh bluefield because his name is josh greenfield oh that makes sense i see what you've done there yeah, yeah. A color with another color. It's, yeah. The thing that, that that you said you really liked this one. <laughs> it's just the worst one out of them all. I just I was grinning because Bluefield. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for that. That was that was brilliant. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, I'm here. If anybody needs uh, trivia questions made for them, uh, get in my DMs. <laughs> I, I don't see anyone getting in your DMs. Um, right. Well, news wise, we know there's been very little, um, but I would like to get your thoughts on the the Twitter post that was uh, put put not put together, but you know what I mean. Obviously, uh, the recent Twitter post by Agrand uh, Wowheaded then put into one post. Um, because some of it's a bit strange, some of it's a little bit long-winded, but we'll just we'll just skim through it. So we have got oh sorry sorry guys, let me just get this lined up a bit better. 
it's just see stupid quiz, which has uh, made everything go a bit weird. Uh, right, okay. It is all my fault. It normally, normally is. I did read through all that Twitter post, like, the, the day or two before uh, Wild had made an article on it. Yeah. Well, the, the main one, so... Um, Agrand obviously has said that they're working hard on phase phase three and Kata in brackets. I mean, Kata, it should have been Kata and phase three in brackets, but whatever. Um, well, <laughs> that aside, uh, so somebody said, please consider, mate, to make Sod have horizontal progression at some point. Classic WoW players love the leveling experience and seeing it being treated as a chore that should be skipped as quickly as possible to get to the end of the game is not the ideal situation. So before we even read his reply on this, even though obviously people in, in chat, you can sit and read the reply. It's on the screen. Um, what are your thoughts on that? But like but both of you, and then I'll give you my thoughts. So, you know, the, the classic WoW, actually the, the leveling should be part of the game and not something that we just want to skip past to actually start raiding. Leveling is always just a, a chore for me. I'm always just trying to get through it. It's been different, though, with Sod, kind of, because it's like stopping and being able to get my professions maxed and then knowing that I'm going to be pretty well on my way by the time I get to level 60 with all my professions and stuff. I'll have a lot of extra gold by the time I get there. It'll be a lot easier this go around to have, like, epic mounts and stuff like that and full, uh, like, uh not bis bags but like 18 or 16 slot whatever the max like bag size is we'll probably have that all maxed out like the bank will probably have all seven slots in my bank so it it's nice for that but still the leveling is just it takes so long and that 100 percent buff couldn't have come fast enough and i hope that we start phase three off with 50 percent bonus buff 100 percent bonus something I don't really know about the horizontal progression is like that those terms always confuse me. It's easy to confuse me, but like horizontal versus vertical progression. Well, uh, so the thing is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's more just about the, yeah, it not being just a big, uh, uh, like, you know, the leveling is almost part of the progression where we don't treat it like that in any way, shape or form. Um, but I don't, the reason I don't agree with it is the season of discovery is seasonal. So it should be quicker anyway, in general, you know, to level and stuff. You would just expect that because it's not around for as long. Um, but go back to 2019. I mean, no one was just like, I, I say no one. I know there'll be people who was like, oh, I took my time and I just enjoyed the leveling. Maybe some people did. But even right from, from then at 2019 launch, it was all about who was getting to 60 first. What, who, was clearing, who was clearing Molten Core first. That was before we even really knew who the good guilds were, who the you know, who were going to be the, the, the top on the, you know, best on the realm, best in the world, all of that. Um, I, I don't know. I don't think that's how we play games anymore. Well, I don't think we, you know, the, the raiding and the prestige of, of clearing bosses and stuff is like the, that is, that is the content. Do you know what I mean? Again, not, not for everyone, but I just don't know if Season of Discovery being real, like the leveling for me already from 25 to 40 felt too long. You know, but that's just me. You know, like it's, I, I don't particularly enjoy the vanilla leveling experience. The only thing that made it a bit more enjoyable is, you know, is having runes and better abilities and stuff like that on Season of Discovery. Um, but I did just sit in Scarlet Monastery just because Path of Least Resistance and all that, you know. Um, but I, I don't know. It, it, I'm probably not the best person to, to really give much of an opinion on this because I just don't, I, I, I will always see the leveling as a chore. You know, no matter what, whether whether I'm playing Kata, whether I'm playing Wrath, Mop, you know, Vanilla, Retail, it doesn't matter. Like, the, the leveling to me is a chore. I want to get to, like, getting pre-raid bis, getting my profession sorted, getting into raids. You know, like, that. that's when the game really starts. What's your thoughts on Do that, Solo? You... Yeah. I'm the you... exact opposite of you two. You're stopping I... and smelling the roses and everything on your way up? I, I like leveling, especially in hardcore that leveling is uh, more f is the most fun of the the journey, and it still inside and in wrath, leveling is more fun. Well, it's like half and half leveling and then raiding. 
when I, I played a hardcore tune and it did make me kind of slow down and appreciate the leveling process a little bit because it was like a, a self-imposed challenge of mine to work my profession up and like I couldn't I couldn't learn the next profession thing until I had crafted the previous one or something like that. Like I had to max out my professions. I had to learn every single recipe. So I was trying to get like the BOE patterns and all that stuff. So I was just sat there grinding, 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 like not getting any XP off of little gray mobs. And it gave me something to do. But yeah, for a seasonal server, I would like to just get through it. It Like if there's a sod season two, if they want to change the name on it or whatever, and it's like a, a longer lasting server, then I wouldn't mind leveling at a slower pace. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, it's not hardcore, you know, where hardcore, uh, the, the vast majority of the experience is the leveling. You know, yeah, when you've got a seasonal server where, you know, the leveling's already been made quicker and people are still claiming that, you know, they're not level 40 yet. They've not cleared Nomragon yet and all of that. So, you know, when the content's moving too fast for some people already, yeah, I think, like, having having the leveling being slower would just be... Yeah, it, it's not going to help at all, in my opinion, but... Uh, but anyway, he... So, the thing is, Agrand agrees with it. Agrin agrees, you know, but he is a very, very much a vanilla enjoyer, isn't he? You know, he was all over hardcore mm -hmm. and everything. Um, but he's like, without just reading it word for word, it, it, you know, it is the fact that Season of Discovery is just very different. And, you know, really what he's saying is that you've got Classic Era for that. You know, if that you want that more slower, methodical um, leveling experience where the actual leveling is just as important as Endgame, uh, then he's just glad that that's still there. Um, the, the next one. So the next one was, I'm surprised to hear that there's even an idea of doing anything other than sod-like stuff in the future. From a player perspective, it feels like you've caught lightning in a bottle, and the next step would be to build upon it instead of toss it out for a different season gimmick. Well, that was some. That's something somebody said to Agrand. Yes, to Agrand, yeah. And then, then we've got his response. But what would your response to that be? Uh, I think I know where they're coming from because it's like, yeah, Sod had a lot of hype for me and, uh, at the end of Wrath, well, it's not, Wrath's not even over yet, but I was not looking forward to Kata. As you know, Scotty, I was like, Kata is not going to be great. And then I've, I've turned my tune a little bit on the beta, but I'm also like, man, like what they have been doing in Season of Discovery, I really like. It still has the classic feel. It's nothing to me. It's nothing like retail. That's going to cause a lot of backlash with that statement right there. But it's completely different in my mind than the retail play style, the retail talents, everything. Professions is completely different. And I love this version of the game. So I would hope that there's something in the future that comes after Season of Discovery. And that doesn't take as long as it did going from Season of Mastery into Season of Discovery. Like, Sod ends, and then we have something, like, right away. Our characters can go to a, a new server or something like that, and boom, we're right into Sod 2. Yeah. Fort Sulu? Oh, that's what I want, too. Yeah, and I, I heard you earlier say that... Uh, Sod is classic plus for you. So, uh, w what else would you like to see in a classic plus? Like, do, does Sod have everything that you would want in it, or like, nope. what else would you add to it? Uh, being able to mount up in Booty Bay, D you travel form in Booty Bay, in uh, that little corridor. Yes, please. <laughs> and in Cathedral, what's outside? Why can't we mount up or go into ghost wolf form? I like it because like I can't root indoors as a druid either, and that has been a big pet peeve of mine. I'm hoping we get a a leaflet in phase three or even phase four where druids can can root indoors. I have loved season of discovery. There is only one thing that they changed that I have a huge problem with, and I don't I don't rant a lot, but I've gone on on rants about this, and it's how they changed the waylaid supply boxes. What we have to do with them now goes totally against what the, the NPC is telling us to do, and it just doesn't make any sense, and it's stupid. I hate it. 
Explain. Having to f having to fill up the boxes now instead of doing partial or oh. you know giving them back their supplies that they asked for, with uh, without adding anything else to it. We used to be able to do that, but now we can't. We have to fill it up or just vendor it. See, I always filled the box up. I never like partial filled or just turned it in. I, so I didn't even know that that was a thing. I used to turn them in empty all the time. Um, but I, oh. I, I mean, I agree with the waylay suppliers. Uh, uh, you know, they. I, I think it could have been a real big integral part of the uh, part of season of discovery. But it was as if like they went, they went pretty like all in on it in phase one, and then was like, "What do we do from here?" And, and yeah, <laughs> it, it, that it could have been a lot better. I, I was still mega surprised that there weren't a room behind Revered, just because. You know, looking at phase one, it just oh, looked yeah. like that, that was how it was going to be. A Revered would get a rune, and then uh, Exalted, there'd be a rune. And the fact that there weren't... I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing, because, you know, I don't, don't particularly enjoy the, the way Lay Supplies farm, but, yeah, certainly not where I'd want to do it on multiple characters. But, yeah, they, they no. m missed the mark a little bit with it. I mean, I still think it's better now than it was. Now we can carry multiple boxes and everything, but... Um, and, you know, it's done exactly what I think they set out to do, which was to sort of improve the economy. You know, some of these items that ordinarily would be crafted and they're just like junk. You know, no one would even buy them on the auction house. You just vendor them. You know, now they've actually it's got true. some value. So it still, it still serves a purpose. I just would have liked to seen them go further with it. Um, but in terms of like more sod stuff in the future, um, I, I, I certainly think it's one of the best things they've done with Classic. Like, you know, hands down. Um, but you know, I'll also I've also been very vocal about the fact that I would have liked to have seen some of this sort of effort put into not not even necessarily Cutter, you know, even TBC RAF, you know, just what while, while they I mean now is the time to do it with Cutter because it's such a frown, not frowned upon expansion, but there's a lot of people that you know don't don't see it in a particularly good light. Whereas if they was to actually like add content to it, they was to. Um, you know, scale up certain dungeons to raids to fill content gaps and stuff like that. You know, it, I'd like to see them doing it in more places than just Season of Discovery, but uh, I, I would say there's no doubt that there'll be a Season of Discovery um, 2, you know, where it's a, a, the rune system and everything, you know, they've, they've proved that it works, even just by Phase 2. You know, if the game died tomorrow, uh, you know, it's been a success. They know that the rune system would be, on, look, they'd be onto a winner. Uh, me personally, uh, I, I would like to go into TBC. But, you know, I know it's meant to be classic, as in, yeah, like the vanilla zones and everything. But uh, at, at the end of Season of Discovery, um, when Nax is clear, and let's assume we got no new raid after Nax, I, I, I'd rather go into TBC than see it just become a ghost town and it's dead, and then we're waiting two years for the next seasonal server. Yeah, because Vanilla Classic was pretty untouched. It was pretty hashtag no changes. TBC, we had the tiny little minimal changes. And then Wrath, we started to see a lot more. So I feel like, yeah, Kata, if they completely throw in stuff in there that wasn't there to begin with, I'd be all for it. And then going into TBC, a lot of people have been saying, like, oh, please, no TBC. And since they didn't change that much originally... I would like to see TBC with some changes. You know, Karazhan is one of my favorite raids. It's an amazing 10-player raid. And then the only thing I didn't really care for in TBC was, like, shamans and having to, like, swap them out of groups and stuff like that and getting lust into the Warlock group. If that could get solved, then TBC was great for me. Yeah. It's a raid-wide lust. <laughs> yeah, raid-wide lust, and boom, there you go. Yeah, I think the thing is we've been through the we've been through the like the original trilogy now with minimal changes. You know, any future servers that they bring out, I, I think they can they can go a bit more balls to the wall. Take some learnings from season of discovery. Take some risks. Add add some you know because they've not got to add dungeons as you know brand new dungeons, but yeah, scaling dungeons up to ten player raids. I mean, you know, they've shown that they can do that and do it pretty successfully as well. Um, so yeah, I, I just hope that this sort of bleeds over into other expansions because yeah, for me, like Season of Discovery, 
I'll be playing all the way through till the end, you know, like, uh, but just on one character. I'm not going to be one of these that's got four or five characters they're raiding on every week because, I, I you know, I, I I find the content quite boring on one, let alone doing it more than that. You know, Gnome Ragon every three days. I, I couldn't do that on more than one character. Um, but still, you know, I want to see all the content on my mage all the way through. But I would also like to see some of this creativity, yeah, just go elsewhere. Which it it probably won't, you know, and they'll stick to these big changes only happening on seasonal servers. But there'll come a point where I think they're going to have to do something because, in my opinion, the whole vanilla, you know, we've had classic, we've had season like classic era twenty nineteen, uh, with classic era still going and people still raiding there now. Season of mastery, hardcore season of discovery. Like, I, I like, uh, you know, I, I like WoW as much as the next person, but, you know, doing the exact same original base game with a few little tweaks over and over again. Like, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I think it needs to... It's not necessarily got to be, you know, you haven't got to go on to TBC. It could just be RAF. You know, a RAF Season of Discovery style... Um, yeah, style standalone season. Uh, where maybe uh, you you only get to sixty still, you know, and it's like you they mess about with it in that way, so it's not like yeah you're not getting all the way to eighty. Uh, maybe it's not even got Northrend, but the raids you, you know you've got access to the raids through portals or whatever. You know, Nax could just stay in uh, in Plaguelands, for example. You know, they could do something really funky where you've got yeah I don't know. I I just I don't think after season of discovery I could play another another vanilla base game not for a while anyway was that all the the news from that that post or did he have one more tweet uh no that was it i mean he again like he's he's responses to him all uh you know very similar he ended the post uh he ended the tweet with you know i of course think sod is fantastic and very happy with it and super proud of what the team did i absolutely want i absolutely want to keep doing more things like this and or build on it uh, part of being a good dev, in my opinion, is looking at what could be improved, uh, though, and keeping that in mind as much as always looking at what works and building on that. But uh, it's the fact that he said, you know, do more things like this and or to build on it. You know, the, the, to uh, I, I think we could see the end of season of Discovery come and it don't end. You know, where it's like it, 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 yeah. it basically just transitions into a into a progressive server of some description. Again, not necessarily going into TBC, but you know, getting a uh, like a Scarlet Monastery raid. Getting, um, I mean, you you could literally you could keep everyone at level sixty in Season of Discovery, um, and at the end of Nax, you could then add like Blackwing Descent, Ashen of Twilight, open up Twilight Islands, Mount Hyjal, Oldham. You know, you could. Uh, I know you're bringing content all the way forward from Kata. Um, but it's there. You're in that. You're in the old zones already. Do you know what I mean? It might need some tweaks because it, you know, they're more flying friendly, and you wouldn't be able to fly. Uh, but it would be a way for them to actually add raids that they've already got all the information for. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I, I I wouldn't mind seeing that, where Sod just did continue past Nax, and we just got raids that we've had. Karazan, prime example. You know, just anything that's already in the old world in future expansions was tuned to a season of discovery level and it just continued on until they ran out of raids they could keep it going for another another two years you know after nax yeah. even if it's just like all right we've we've done what we were expecting we've got through nax and maybe everything was in like a, a 10 12 week thing phase to phase to phase and then after we did nax if it took 20 weeks to get a, a new raid I'd be fine with that as long as the server stayed up there and it'd be like, oh, okay, if I wanted to just go play something else and then, oh, all of a sudden a new raid's dropping. Yeah. Let me go back to sod. I I'd be cool with that. Just have sod be like the, oh, okay, nothing's going on. I'm raid logging on Cata classic. Let me hop over to sod cause there's new content and play on sod for a little bit. Yeah, but I mean, that's how I I'm going to, I've said straight right before season of discovery even launched that that's how I'm playing season of discover anyway. You know, as in, yeah, it is my it's my second game. You know, classic is my primary game. Season of Discovery is my secondary game. Um, and you know, there'll be times where I'm spending more time on sod, like when a new phase launches. 
Um, and then there'll be more time where I'm just raid logging, like now, where all there is to do is Nomragon every three days. So it, it's it's perfect as a, a filler game. I mean, again, I know people will be like, oh my God, it's my main game. I'm raiding on 27 characters <laughs> and I play 12 hours a day. Like, uh, that's cool. I, I can't because I can't just do the same like six bosses in Nomragon over and over again. Cool. I thought I could. I wanted it to be my main game. But go ahead, Scotty. Uh, it, it, well, it was mine in phase one. I don't, I don't know what it is about phase two. Like phase two, I just got pretty bored of pretty quickly. Whereas phase one, yeah, you know, obviously, as you know, I was leveling every character to twenty five. I was raiding <laughs> on loads of them. Yeah, I literally, I couldn't stop. I didn't. I barely logged on Raf all through phase one. Uh, phase two, just as quick as it launched, it felt like it was over for me. But you know, we're all different. Cool. On to those, uh, those next topics, or. Uh, yeah, you well, you do? take it away. Yeah, you take it away. You, uh, you've you come up with all the, the agenda, what we're going to talk about, so... I put a couple things in there. Uh, sorry, I had my push to talk, and I was in my notepad, so it was just putting plus signs over and over again. I had to, <laughs> I had to cut that out. <laughs> we got, uh, so phase, like, phase, going into phase two, I did a lot of preparation, but for phase three, I'm not really sure what I'm going to prep for. I know professions trying to get profession mats so that i'm assuming we're going to get to go higher than 225 in phase three maybe we don't get all the way up to 300 i don't know if they would cut it off like halfway through that profession and be like oh you can only get to 250 or 275 but that's usually something that i like to do uh i didn't get my quest log up in phase one because i had done all the quests for gold it sounds like that might be something salu baton does as well but uh, yeah. Any anybody started on phase three prep? Nothing at or all. Or have plans to do anything? Hello, you got any plans? I haven't even thought about phase three until just this very moment. <laughs> yeah, it's it's coming up quickly. I think I think we're like four weeks away, five at the max. So now's the time where I'm starting to think about it more and more. It's like reputations. I couldn't really think of any reps that I would want this time around. Last time I was trying to get up like Booty Bay rep, Gaggett's End rep, because it was just like the only reps available to grind. But I need to try to dive in there and see if there's a, a rep that I can get exalted with that might help me out. Yeah, I mean, my, my only the only thing I'll do, quite honestly, is just stack my quest log. That's it. Um, but, you know, when it's only 10 levels that we've got to get, I mean, it, it's less important, but the fact that I've done, you know, the SM farm all the way to 40, uh, I've got, like, plenty of options for quests to go and, yeah, go and stack up on. But, yeah, which I will do. You know, obviously, I'm going to go into the next phase with as much of, uh, as many quests as possible. And uh, But that'll be it. Yeah, like, mats and stuff, like, uh, nah. Did any of you guys level up? going into bfd for experience did did you like it if you did because i went in there on my na tune and i got some decent xp so if they do the same thing with nomer then i'd i'd like it like i hope i hope i could get like a full level this time without like rested experience or anything like that or having to use that consume from the the sleeping bag yeah. if i can go in there and each boss gives me like four bars of xp That'd be sick. I done it on launch, yeah. Like when fate, obviously we was all logged out at, at at BFD, and done a quick BFD, then went and handed all our quests in, and then went to Scarlet Monastery. Um, sorry, we went to Razor and Crawl, then to Scarlet Monastery. Um, so yeah, I do know Regan like the first when it when it launches. Uh, assuming it gives XP, which it will, I'm sure it will work exactly the same as BFD. Uh, I I wouldn't go back. You know, as in, like, I've not done any BFDs in Phase 2 on any alts or anything like that, but I'm just not bothered about leveling anything else, so... Otherwise, I would. You know, if I wanted more level 40s, then, I, I mean, doing BFD every few days, I, I believe you can get to, like, 35, 36, something like that, just literally from doing that. Yeah, it's, it's great XP. How, how many times did you say you did it, Salu? Sorry. Just, just a couple? BFD? Yeah, yeah. yeah, like to level up. Oh, I think it was just a couple to level up. I can't remember. Did you get the I've... sleeping bag? Yeah. Like, did you... I've no, okay. gotten it on three characters now. 
I never got it, but I heard that you could oh, use the I got it on one yet. thing. <laughs> yeah, I still have it, but I heard you could use that consume and then kill bosses in BFD and it would grant you that like bonus XP from rested experience. Does that sound right? That's how it works, yep. Yeah, if, if you could do that in phase two, that'd be sick. If we could get a bar and a half, a level and a half of rested right now, like, please. <laughs> well, if we could get more of the fodder. Please. Yeah, some some alternate way to get it. Yeah. yeah. So actually, having not done the sleeping bag quest, I've got it, and I think I'm on the last part. I was just like, I'm level forty. What's the point? Um, but yeah, actually, having all that ready for for the next phase is going to be quite useful, then, isn't it, for that first Nomragon run? If you've stocked up and it actually works, I'm assuming it's not going to work, but I, I don't know. The sleeping bag. Yeah, like well, the sleeping bag might work for the three percent, but the fodder stuff. I don't know if people saved it for phase three. If it would actually work from like past level forty, no, I, I would be surprised if it didn't. I mean, it should, shouldn't it? Really, because it shouldn't matter when you go and do the when you go and do the sleeping bag quest. You know, who's to say that you've got to do it in phase two? You know, you know, you might not go and do it until phase three, and then. Use the XP in phase what well, arrested XP in phase four. No, I, I think it should work. So the best time to use it is level fifty nine. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go do it. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, the raid lockout change. Uh, we had a three day cadence in phase one, and I think you could just immediately level right up to twenty five and get right in there. And it was every three days after that, and then they changed that up a little bit for phase two. They had a, a poll on Twitter. They got some feedback from the community and they were like, the community has spoken and we're going to extend the lockout to a five day lockout for the first one and then seven days for the second and then go back to three days after that. I'm a big fan of uh, just letting people level all the way up and then if you don't have the time to do it, it's just seasonal server. I'm sorry, but... Just keep it three days. Make it consistent. It was a bit confusing for people. It didn't really launch that well either. So I'd I'd like it to go back to phase one style where it's just three days. There's no confusion of five day, seven day, three day. What do you guys think? I I, I don't I don't care personally. As in, if it, if it's open, I'll get in there as soon as I can. If if it's not, I won't. It, you know, like as in it, it was what even even um with, for Nomrigon, I wasn't overly bothered. It's like it was nice to not have to rush, um, but then at the same time, it felt like a really long time after the first clear before <laughs> before we could go and do it again. Uh, certainly for the first two clears, obviously. But was it good for the game? Was it good for the majority of people? I, I'd probably say yeah. You know, as in, people probably felt, uh, those that uh, have got less time to play probably felt like they missed out less, you know, uh, by yeah having a seven-day lockout for the first two resets. But then now, they've probably already quit because they're bored shitless of Nomura gone and having to do it every three days anyway. So, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think there really is a right answer. You know, you you're going to please one group of players by they're not being a seven day lockout at the start and you're going to upset another group of players that, you know, they, they can't win with this shit. So they just need to do what they think's right. All right. So here you go. They add bonus XP to get to level 50. So it's faster. It doesn't take nearly as long. So then people don't have that excuse that, Hey, I only had 10 hours of this first lockout to level up. If 10 hours was enough time to get there, then what do you think? Salut baton. about what it, it, should they add xp should they make it faster to get to up there and just keep a three-day lockout instead of having it confusing five seven three days i think they sh they need to keep it at three days and yeah leveling doesn't take any time at all what about with it being so uh, should it still be free a three-day lockout when it's going to be 20 man raids why not? Yeah, I think they said that it would be. Because it's ZG is a three day lockout already, a 20 man classic era. AQ20, three day lockout. So it 
it would be weird for them to change it. But yeah, that's they, they have they have changed things that they've said in the past. But I'm I'm pretty sure somewhere sometime they said yeah, twenty man raids are going to be on a three day lockout. Yeah, yeah, it makes All sense. All right. They, they what about the, the XP token. though? Before you go any further, what okay, about the XP? Ahead. You know, uh, like. Phase three, should it start with 50% or should it carry on with the 100% we've got now? And then should it go up even further? I'm listening, but I'm going to get it in. Uh, I'm saying add XP. Yep. At least 50% minimum, I'd be fat. I'd be fine with 100. But you you like the leveling experience. Yeah. yeah? Yes. Oh, uh, well, that's that's fair. I, I know there's 20, a lot of people that 20%. like that. 20%? What yeah. what if they just change the sleeping bag to have the sleeping bag more than 3% total? So Two maybe it would... In... <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know. It'd be like that, 5% per, so okay. maybe you could get 15%. But we're nearing the, the end, unless they totally do change everything past 60. But this is a seasonal server. Like if there's a lot of stuff waiting for us at the end of the cap and then phase three, then yeah, let's go. Let's zoom. Yeah, I like the zoom. Uh, especially like if it, the phase one was ten weeks, so phase two, if it's if it carries on for too long, people might fall off. Maybe that bonus XP would bring people back because they know they're going to be able to get up to the next cap faster. I don't know. It's a big many, mind game. How many weeks has this phase been so far? It feels like it's been ages. Six, I think six. Which is why I was saying, like, they, they gave a month's notice of uh, phase two. So this week is why I was saying I think phase two would get it, or phase three would get announced because we're four weeks away from being at 10 weeks. Hmm. I wonder if they've started to see much of a, a drop off over the le recent weeks. I've not actually looked at Iron Forge I mean, Pro. For a Iron while. Forge Pro is still going up. It's it's not like a a steep up, but it's still going up. Like every week has gone up for phase two from the previous. Yeah, it's up to three hundred K now. And that's that's gonna be as more more people level alts and raid on alts, obviously. But yeah. all right. Another another change that they did in phase two I was curious about was uh, the tier token system. I think a lot of people really enjoyed it, but it just didn't feel right for me for this style of gameplay i don't know what it what it is it's just like i remember going into molten core and being like oh yeah this boss drops these tier shoulders and then now it's like oh well these three bosses can drop a token you turn your token in for a piece and anybody can do it it was always kind of funny when we would go into mc and it would be all druid loot but uh, i don't know I don't know what this should change to make me feel better about it. It just hasn't rubbed the right way with me. What, as in the tier, the, the, the Nomergon loot system? Mm hmm. The, the Nomer tier stuff. So it's like they have one tier set that just drops from the bosses. I like the feel of the irradiated set for casters better than turning in tokens and getting loot for tier. Uh, I, I, f I mean,. I found it really, really weird that it's only the irradiated that drops from the bosses. Um, I know that was because of the amount of composition on it from, yeah, shadow priests, warlocks, mages, blah, blah, blah. Um, but how I would have assumed that it was going to work after doing one clear, you know, so not knowing the loot tables, just going in there and clearing it for the first time, was that all of the, tier, all of the sets had a chance of dropping and then you add the tokens on top. Do you know what I mean? So it weren't just one specific tier set that drops, and then you've got tokens, and you can't use those tokens to actually get that set. Yeah, I found that I found that a bit weird. But I mean, it 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 kind of worked. It still helps out loot distribution, in my opinion. But I would have preferred to have seen it where all of like the irradiated set was on the vendor for tokens. And all of the sets had a chance of like dropping just one, yeah, like one random. It could be leather, could be mail, could be cloth, whatever. Could go to waste, you know, who knows? But then you've got the tokens on top of that as well. Uh, but yeah. It was still better than phase one. Miss Baton? 
I'm sorry? A a any certain style of loot that you prefer? Like, have you enjoyed the token stuff? Are you a yeah, raid leader? Yeah. I'm sorry, I should have asked. No, no. No, no, okay. No, I'm lowly raider. So when loot drops, it shows up in your bag and you're like, cool? Yeah, if I want it, it's it's awesome. <laughs> I, I'm okay with the tokens because it means that anybody can use it. A lot of the times we have to fill a pug in here or there. And, uh, which is good most of the times because there's a lot of gear in Nomer that no one really needs anymore. But with the tokens, like anybody, anybody can use it. Yeah. Like off yeah. spec. Oh, off spec. Yeah. I know people were trying to get me to get tier to get uh, a healing set. And I'm like, nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> Well, apparently there's been a uh, there's been a survey go out today. Um, I'm going to check my email when uh, user uh, in conversation uh, that says how like how have you enjoyed season of discovery so far? Um, how long would you want phase two to last? With the minimum option being six more weeks, and the ma uh, and the maximum op <laughs> the maximum option being twelve more weeks. Uh, there, there was probably other questions. It's just, it's just what I'm being told at the moment by someone who's filled the survey out. Um, I, I, I personally received the survey um, about uh, Titan Room Dungeons. <laughs> we can start that conversation again. Uh, uh, on Cata? No, t Titan Room Dungeons in, in Season of Discovery. Oh, I, I I had a survey where that was one of the questions. Like, what would you, how would you feel about Titan Room Dungeons being added into into Season of Discovery? Um, and I had I I had that survey on the fourteenth of March, so last week. I don't know how that would even work. Like, well, man, that's a weird one. Because Titan Rune meant like the affixes or whatever. And it, it changed the loot table. And at least it was only five player, right? Uh, like dungeons. Yeah. yeah that was always you know, nice. we're talking about gammas and that, yeah? As in, in yeah, 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 yeah. Um, like, so... It'd be easier to find a group for that than going back and doing BFD. Yeah, I don't, again, yeah, I don't know what what the thoughts would be along the loot table side of it, but. I like the idea of actually having more small five-man content to do, so I'd be all for it, actually. In Season of Discovery, uh, I wouldn't even care what the loot was, but just having more challenging dungeons to actually go and, you know, make use of the gear that you've got from raids and all the new abilities and stuff. So, like, it's a completely opposite opposite opinion to what it was about Cataclysm. Because I, I think in Season of Discovery, actually having more small group content is would, would be a would be a benefit if it was at end game at level 60 i could see it but what not while leveling up like not in phase three i wouldn't see like titan rune dungeons coming out uh, like table said or just to have dungeons matter for something other than leveling like that that's yeah you know, i'd love a reason to, mm. to log on season of discovery and go and do some dungeons and that's What's you know the, that's something that's missing did. for me they they put the leaflets in. I know that it's called different things for different classes. But how did you like that salubaton? <laughs> the uh, I, I I like saying that, and I keep saying it mid sentence. It's weird, but uh, like they they gave like quality of life books in phase two for a lot of classes. Should they keep doing that in phase three? Absolutely. What was it for shaman? I don't remember. Totemic projection. Oh, you could like move your totems around and stuff. Yes, yeah. And that was huge. Yeah, they gave Druids Revive. Uh, I know they gave Rogue something. When I was looking at the uh, the runes, it had like a section of that on uh, Wildhead for every class. And I was like, oh, every, everybody got something, I think. So, I'm still trying to find the data mined runes for Phase 3. So some of the other questions on the, the survey that went out today as well... Were, were more just generic, you know, like, um, you know, like, what class do you play? How did you feel about the runes for your class? Blah, blah, blah. You know, that, that kind of thing. It looks like the, looks like the, the, the biggest, the, the biggest thing really was the, yeah, how much longer do you want to be in phase two for? Definitely not 12 weeks. 
uh, six weeks would it still seems really long for me. So I'm like, uh, like uh, normally I'm like, yeah, rush, 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 like want the next phase. And while I do, like complete for, for completely selfish reasons with everything else that's going on it, it, with with WoW at the moment, um, I actually kind of wouldn't would like it to last a little bit longer. But you know, the people that are enjoying it still, let them enjoy it. Um, uh, you know, I, I, purely because like the Catabata, you know, having, wanting to do the Catabata when the 80 to 85 comes out, if season of Discovery Phase 3 is out at the same time, now I'm going to be torn between the two, you know, and I know this is just me yeah. being selfish, This is, but, you know, I, I don't think they should have too much going on at the same time. They should either launch Phase 3 and hold off on the Catabata get going any further than level 80 or get the 80 to 85 part out, then launch Phase 3 then let the raids start on Kata. You know, for the people that are playing both and will bounce between, because there's a lot of people that I've spoke to over the last couple of days on Discord that had no intentions of playing Kata. But they got the beta invite and they was like, oh, I'll give it a go. And they're actually enjoying it. You know, so I think giving it a bit of a chance to breathe and the servers have been down for hours tonight as well. So, like, I'll be interested to see what they're actually hot fixing, what they're putting in. Maybe we're getting to 85 tonight. Who knows? If that's the case, I won't be sleeping. Um, but, yeah, I, I like, I don't know. I, I think pacing the content uh, not around those of us that just want things to be quicker, you know, uh, which would be me. You know, ordinarily, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, like, get phase three, drop it next week, let's go. But then all I'm going to do is rush through phase three and then be complaining I've got nothing to do there and... Uh, you know, I, I'm always going to be one of those where there's not enough content in Season of Discovery. I, I, I know that because I'm not interested in ults. I only want my mage, so I just want my one character. When there's such limited content during these leveling brackets, obviously, I'm always going to sound like I'm not happy. Um, but I am. I'm happy because it's like a, a, a free second game that I get to play. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. 12 weeks is too long. But another another four to six weeks... Yeah, I, I'd be interested in chat, like guys who are in chat, like that the, you're not playing Kata, you're not playing Raffle, you play a season of Discovery. Like, how are you feeling at the moment? Like, because you're, you're, you're what matters. I don't matter. You, you know, like genuinely don't matter because I, you know, I'm, I'm a tourist on season of Discovery now, really. You know, I, I pop in, you know, get the, get the phase knocked out in a couple of weeks and then I'm raid logging. Whereas if, if all you're playing is season of Discovery... Is the content enough for you at the moment, or are you like, no, I, I need phase three, or I'm, I might get bored? You know, I, I, not even necessarily live in chat now, but like in the comments, if, if you watch the VOD back or whatever, like comment because I would be interested to know. Uh, sorry, yeah, don't comment. Don't comment that ghost smells. Uh, there were so many comments when we memed at the end of the last show, and you were like, "Does anybody watch to the end of the vod?" And then you were like, "Yeah, just say ghost smells." And there was like fifteen comments of ghost smells. I was like, "Thank, thanks, Scotty." <laughs> I couldn't believe people got to the end, mate. I got to be honest with you. There was a lot. Like people watch the vods, man. What's but, going on, uh, Hammer? I, I, I did. Um... What, I did the STV event for the first time in like three weeks last night with uh, Blaze and Bob, and it was rough, but it, it's still something that something to do. You know, I got some loot from it. It was pretty fun. But uh, outside of Nomer Salubaton, what are you doing? Uh, leveling alts. Oh yeah, you have your rogue alt too. So what, what's the plan with the rogue when you get it up? Oh um. I just made her to go hang out in uh, Red Ridge and Duskwood. I don't, I don't want to raid on her or anything. I just want to want her to be there in Duskwood for whenever I get angry and need to take my emotions out on other players. <laughs> so a, a horde going into Red Ridge, yeah? Like, yeah. I, I like it. I like it. I did a lot of world PvP in Phase 1, and I haven't done that much in Phase 2, but I'm a big world pvp here what uh what server are you playing on a crusader strike okay oh that's right yeah 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 um i have my uh my druid on crusader strike as well but it, it's getting some gear it's I'm, I'm like full pre-raid almost i think but i haven't really stepped foot into nomer yet on that tune i need to get in there better before in phase three 
I know I've only got six weeks minimum. <laughs> I'm running out of time. Uh, what's Hammer saying? So, uh, oh, Dan, Dan first. Need more content during a phase like those rune dungeons. Felt uh, like me and my guild started raid logging way quicker than phase one. Yeah, I, I feel exactly the same way. And yet, Hammer's a content creator. Um, you know, he makes sod content and he's bored out of his mind and taking a break till phase three at this point. Full bis and not even doing my group Noma anymore. I I'm going for the boys, you know, like to not let them down. I'm still going Noma gone every three days. Um, if if as a group everyone decided, right, let's just leave it now till phase three, I I'd be happy with that. But obviously, I'm not going to let people down that still need, you know, one or two items and want to get them. Um, but no, I I I feel you, Hammer, uh, and I also feel like the the communication has really sort of took a bit of a dive over the last couple of weeks. In general, just not even just season of discovery, just like all over the place, you know. Um, and I and it's probably because they're spinning a lot of plates, you know. Yeah, they've got the whole this whole pirate shit going on on retail, and then season of discovery, Catabata. I mean, Raf pretty much just looks after itself, I'd imagine. But yeah, it just there, there's like there's been nothing, is there? It's been like almost just radio silence with season of discovery, no class tuning. I mean, is it is everything fine? Is it all like so perfectly balanced that there don't need to be any changes? Uh, and, and that's just me, you know. Someone who look, I, I'm, you know, I'm looking at the blue tracker all the time. I've got it open now on my iPad in front of me in case any news pops up, and I can go, "Oh, guys, by the way, you know, this is just this has just happened." Um, but yeah, it's it's a weird time. I don't know. That's why I've got high hopes for Phase Three, actually, because I feel like, well. If they're this quiet, is it because they're working on some some things that are really going to surprise us? So rather than taking it as a negative that we're hearing nothing, let's try and take it as a positive that they're really busy working on really big things that are going to come in phase three. If that's not the case, uh, <laughs> then I'm going to be really fucking annoyed. I think you just uh, you, you did a complete 180 from last week when everybody was telling you that you were being too negative. Now you're too fucking positive, Scott. No, you no, I'm bring not... it back down. We need to shit on this game right now. Sod fucking sucks. Well, no, because I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to phase three. Phase three. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Yeah, I can't really be positive about phase two, um, because I I just think it's been a really shit phase. Like uh, you know, uh, but I can be positive about what we don't know. I can be positive about phase three because. You know, I'm hoping it is gonna. It's, I, I'm hoping it's gonna bring me back to how I felt during phase one. During phase one, I, 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 like, I didn't even want to put videos out. You know, I just wanted to. I just wanted to play season of discovery. Like I, I was absolutely loving phase one. Um, and then phase phase two, it just hasn't hit the mark with me. You know, it, it's not me shitting on the game. It's not me. You know, trying to big up cataclysm and get people to play that instead or anything. It's nothing like that at all. It's just. Phase two did not hold my attention anywhere near as much as phase one did. And I think it's because phase one was like, it's fresh. Everyone's level one. There's no gold, no bots at, at the moment, you know, for the first 10 minutes. Um, you know, and getting runes was all brand new. It was like, oh my God, like, where do these come from? Everyone all over the world. And then phase two was kind of like, oh, it's been out for like 10 hours and every rune's already been found. Getting the runes just felt exactly the same as it did in phase one um you know it was like the charm of of the whole going out and discovering to get runes i just felt like it didn't have the same charm as it did in phase one you know so again it, it, it's it's difficult for me to be too positive about phase two when i've just not enjoyed it but or i've not enjoyed it as much yeah 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 so salubaton what would you like to see in phase three if they could add something new but that would keep your attention, keep you logging in day after day for sixteen weeks in a row. Like, what, what, what would you want to see? I definitely well, what I want to what I want to see is probably what they're going to be doing, like with Mara and Sunken Temple, making them raids, right? Uh, at least Sunken Temple. Maybe Mara yeah. might not be one. It was data mined. Cool. It still couldn't be Sunken Temple, but everyone's thinking that it is. I, I love raiding. And I, the the more of that that we get, the better. Yeah, uh, I would hope that we would get two raids. And yeah, Mara as a raid, I think would be really sick. So uh, Mara, Sunken Temple, give, give me three raids. Make every single dungeon 
a raid in phase three. We can't level up in dungeons because they're all raids. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Let me get a BRD. ZF raid. <laughs> BRD is not a raid. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Leave the <laughs> or BRD a dungeon. Yes. So the thing is, what I don't quite understand, and, and again, this is more a me issue than, than, than a game issue, um, but like on, I, I went on RAF earlier on. Well, I've been on RAF all day farming, to be fair, but I've been like farming and on the beta and doing some doing some video prep in the background. Um, but I was like, oh, I, I'm a bit bored of herbing and mining on my druid, so I logged on the mage and queued for a gamma and went and done a gamma. I need no loot. I don't need scourge stones. Obviously, I'm like, I, I'm, I've got a lot of gear in here. When I say a lot, you know, the mage is only two weeks old. Um, but, you know, I'm like 6.3k gear score now. Um, so I need nothing from gammas, but it was the convenience of just being able to go, oh, fuck it, I'll do a quick dungeon, you know, and queue in random dungeon finder and then jump in and, and pump. Uh, like, I know people hate random dungeon finder, uh, but if it was in Season of Discovery, I would actually just jump on and queue for a dungeon, you know, just yeah. because I've got loads of gear. It's like, uh, if the convenience is there for me to go in and use that gear, I I'll do it. And I know, obviously, you vanilla purists will all be like, oh, fucking random dungeon finder sucks. Like, you can go and find a group in in the, the absolute spammed LFG chat. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm a lazy prick. You know, it's as simple as that. I, I like the little conveniences. Um, uh, and that it's it's those minor things for me that, that makes me just go on RAF and do a dungeon instead. Because I would, I would go and heal a dungeon. But I can't be asked to find a group. Just put me in a group. I don't care who it's with, um, you know. So I, ju I just, it's, it's just the lack of, <laughs> lack of like e easy to get into content. You know, I'm not like. And, and the other thing is as well, most people that are level forty are not doing dungeons. Because I did look recently. I was on the mage before a raid, and I wanted to get into a get into a dungeon. And all it was was Scarlet Monastery groups looking for mage for spell cleave. Not a single one of them was level forty. So it's like, but so you basically want me to join in full Nomragon gear and and boost you? You know, it, like that. It, it it's not like people with gear going and doing dungeons for fun. It's just there's just a big missed opportunity there with with five man content. I don't care what anyone says. It really is. I did my first RFD last night. And I liked that dungeon. It was it was fun. I blasted through it. I had watched Salu do it like six times in a row during her subathon last week, and she was having a blast. And then I finally got to do it last night with uh, Bob and a couple of his friends. It, Medina, who's in chat, he was in there too, I think, tanking on a warrior. And it took us a solid, I'd say, 45 minutes just to get the group into the dungeon. And we had like three or four of us were level 40, but it, trying to carry the one person through the elites in the outside when a couple of us were already in the dungeon, some people were across Azeroth and it took a while to get there. So have an RDF when we could all just queue up and then get into a dungeon would be amazing. Uh, I I love some RDF. So yeah, give me, give me that. It's felt weird not having it in the Catabeta too. Oh, I hate I, I, I hate you not being in a catabater. And and look, yeah. go. I, I'm I'm you know I'm I'm leveling my second character, um, soon to be third because I fully intend on starting my uh, my priest on Saturday, um, and I've barely done any dungeons because I I I, I the, the whole point of you know random dungeon finder being in in something something like Cata. Sorry, I'll just just talk about it just for a second. Is you're out questing and you're just doing your own thing and you're queued and then you get in a dungeon and it breaks up the, the, the questing. Do you know what I mean? It's not like I, I stop questing to sit and stare at a chat box to try and find a group. Um, so yeah, it sucks that it's not in the beta. And I'm hoping when the servers do come back online that it's working. Because if it is, I know how I'm leveling my paladin the rest of the way. Um, but look, I get random dungeon finder not being in Season of Discovery. Like I, I really do get it not being there. Um, but just for me personally, it, it I, I would do far more on Season of Discovery with it th than without it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cheese Omelette, what do you think about that one? Salut, baton. <laughs> a yeah. random dungeon fighter. Random dungeon I, that fighter. would be awesome if we could have it. I don't have a lot of tr uh, trouble getting a group, especially on my shaman. And the bulletin add-on 
is far superior than wading through the looking for group channel. But yeah, uh, Random Dungeon Fighter would be awesome. I did find myself hitting, what was it, I the other day to pull it up and saw it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I wanted. <laughs> Do you find, though, Salu, that there are actually level 40s actively running dungeons? Like, yeah, yes, I, yes. Yeah, see, I, I, I really don't. As I say, I've only looked a couple of times. I'll be completely honest. You know, as I say, and one of those times was a couple of days ago, um, and all I could see was people, mainly mages, looking for more for Scarlet Monastery. Yeah, like not like yeah. level four is one in groups to just go and pump through content. But but then there's probably I've, no point, is there? I have that problem on my rogue, and also the hunter that I'm leveling up is people just want to be boosted through stuff, or they want to farm Scarlet Monastery, and the best the best way to go about it that i found is just make your own group and start spamming people who are within that you know do a who for that level range and just harass them until they join your group <laughs> yeah or, sorry ask them until they ask them yeah you you lost you lost me at the effort of making a group <laughs> yeah yeah i was i was all in i was like that sounds great but hang on i've got to make the group me me and go have standoffs if we're both streaming and we're going to go and do something together, a dungeon together. We literally have a standoff on who's going to invite who. Because it's like, oh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I, I'm yeah, not making Scott, a group. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Invite Scott. <laughs> I really need to do this dungeon, but you're going to have to form it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'm very lucky because I'm blessed with a Zach um, who literally, I'm like, Zach, I want to do an Alduar. He's like, yeah, two secs, I'll make a group. And he just literally starts, starts making a group straight away. He, he is all, he's awesome You've got for that. Eight priests in that group. Oh, eight priests, and we can't get past Flame Leviathan trash. But still, it's the thought that counts. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what other talking. talking points have you got? You, you've got loads here. I mean, we do want to look at the head runes, don't we? I mean, I can start getting that ready. Yeah. I, I couldn't find the article, so I wasn't going to bring it up. But now that you've brought it up, it's on you to. Oh to yeah, I've got, the, I've got it. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got okay, it. I just perfect. need to put it on. Just give me a, give me a second. Go to talk about something else while I get it ready. Uh, so Salubaton, if you don't know, is uh, you might have seen her at your local karaoke, uh, singing some songs. Uh, she's also a voice actress and uh, has a couple gigs. You can find her on Fiverr, but uh. Have you done any voice acting for uh, World of Warcraft? Like for another person, like another YouTube channel for World of Warcraft? No. No, have not. I know you did, uh, you were showing some machinima. I don't know yeah. if I said that right. But uh, is that that is that on your own channel? Yeah, I have some on there. I do all the voiceover work for my own videos. <laughs> it, you played one during your subathon last week, and it sounded like a deeper voice. Do you like change your voice up too when you do voice acting, or was that yeah, somebody that else? Yeah, that was my uh, my my uh, my druid, my torn druid. I I created a really stupid voice for her. Oh yeah. So there's no like pitch shifting. Everything that we hear is like all natural. It's just yeah. straight into the microphone. Oh, okay, cool. I ain't got the ram for that, man. Come on. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> All right, so uh, I know the the head rune for Druid was Gale Winds, and I've said it ten thousand times that I don't like that as a a rune for us balanced Druids. Uh, the Bracer rune, I don't think there was a balanced rune data mined. Uh, I've got them all yeah, up now. If you want to go through them, okay, perfect, perfect. Uh... Well, it's not up for me yet. I'm a little lagging behind. I don't have kick open. YouTube for me has a delay kick is usually like pretty instant but... so i can i can read uh, i can read through let me just get it so it's all nicely on the screen um well we'll just we'll go through we can go through all the classes so everybody actually knows you know we haven't got to add too much commentary to the ones you know if it's classes we don't play or we're not interested in um but for just to put a bit of context to this for people who are like oh my god how are you data mine these runes they're They've not been data mined. And, you know, if you watch any videos of people putting out data mined videos on these runes, the, the, these have been known for ages. So when when Order Phase 2 data mining started before it launched, there was head and bracer runes as well. And they never, they obviously never made it into the game. So we can only assume that they may or may not, you know, they may not, but they may or may not 
be part of the phase three runes. So we could at least have a look to get a bit of an idea on, well, what might they look like? You know, what, what, sort, of, what sort of runes could we expect? Um, so for the warrior, we had uh, Rampage. We're on braces. Let me just make sure I don't miss any. So Rampage on braces, where what the warrior goes on a Rampage, increasing attack power by 2%, and causing most successful melee attacks to increase attack power by an additional 2%, and it stacks five times. So obviously Rampage is a, is a future talent from future expansions. Um, I mean, not... Not really a, a great deal to yeah, say. Ten ten percent attack power uh, is that huge for warriors? Because uh, they use strength, yeah. right? Does strength convert to attack power? Is that how that works? Yeah, for... yeah. Strength, strength gives attack power. So I mean, yeah, it will oh, be okay. it will be big, but basically the TBC rampage. Yeah, table. Uh, they've also got sword and board. So when you when your devastate and revenge abilities deal damage, they've got a thirty percent chance of refreshing the cooldown of shield slam ability and reducing its rage cost by a hundred percent. Again, just a, a a future future talent, but nice, nice for tanks. But I must admit, I've not really seen many actual one hand and shield warrior tanks. Yeah, they're all dual wielding, right? Yeah, well, I they're, I I, like I haven't hands. personally. Uh, I don't know. All I seem to see is shamans or warlocks, but yeah, if you're running with a warrior, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's not, they, they may be very good. I just haven't seen many actual proper sword and board warrior tanks. Um, uh, look, like Tex just said, it's not good enough to make deep prop good. Yeah. Um, a bracer, so they've got Wrecking Crew as well. Your melee critical hits enrage you, increasing all physical damage caused by 10%. Uh, I mean, another enrage. Uh, your wait, your crits enrage you. So if we get all the world buffs that we used to have that grant a fuck ton of crit, then that's gonna be pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean they've already got like lots of ways to enrage in uh yeah yeah even at this point in phase two. Uh it would be nice. And then the warrior dies, loses their world buffs, and they're like, oh, I gotta switch my bracer rune because I have no crit anymore. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Uh, warriors have threat rampage. issues. Apparently, they need tuning. Yeah, it, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. As I say, it's certainly the tank I've seen the least. Um, in Grave can you, Helm, can you send that link really quick, Scott? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm just a little bit behind. Uh, stick it in the group chat. Thank you, sir. Oh, spoiler alert! By the way, guys, <laughs> we didn't say it, but uh, spoilers ahead. These these runes could change, likely to change. Oh yeah, exactly. They may not even make. Some of them may not make it in the game. None of them may make it into the game. But um, yeah. so for the head, you got shield mastery for warriors, increasing physical damage dealt by ten percent while you have a shield equipped, and reduces the duration of disarms. I mean. The the they're, they're looking good though. You know, like if we're saying deep pro, you know, suffers. Because of like yeah lack of threat, you know having like shield mastery so just more damage, uh, short uh, sword and board so getting off more shield slams. It look it, it does look like they're trying to help prop warrior. It, so I mean some of these making it into the next phase kind of makes sense. Uh, Taste for blood's but amazing though. They're increasing. Why do they need to increase non tank warrior DPS? Well, that wouldn't, because you got you got to have a shield well, equipped. Well, not not the shield one, but the other, the bracer rune would, right? Like the the rampage rune. Oh, that. Even... Yeah. Well, yeah, that that's that. Yeah, that's more for DPS. Yeah, so it's just like if they're encouraged to get more DPS without using a shield, and that outweighs the damage that they're going to give to this rune while they're wearing a shield, and they have threat issues. Why would they try to wear a shield? And not do as much damage and not do as much threat. I don't, it's it's feeling really weird to me. I don't play warrior. I don't claim to be a warrior, but these runes aren't making sense. Well, yeah, I mean, and that's why like dual wield warrior, you know, has, has always been a thing, and and likely will all through season of discovery as well, because yeah, you yeah, on the basis that like the uh, you know threat is based on damage largely, you know, uh, and then obviously you have threat modifiers. But like being in defensive stance, 
uh, the more damage you do, the better. The more damage you do, the more threat. It's more about the damage that you're taking. So when you're looking at things like, I suppose, yeah, when you're looking at things like sword and board, it, it it's not actually, it's not increasing survivability and it's increasing threat less than it would if you was using a DPS rune. You know, so, yeah. But anyway, we'll just burn through these. Uh, taste for yeah, blood. Yeah, yeah. Now, taste for blood's amazing. Whenever, whenever your rend ability causes damage, your overpower ability will activate for nine seconds or one attack, uh, and this effect will not occur more than once every six seconds. What I'd like to see, um, actually, instead of one of these bracer runes, so any of you warriors out there, I'd love to see blood and thunder uh, on one of the bracer runes and then taste for blood on the helm. Uh, so yeah, your thunderclap spreads rend. I mean, th th that alone surely would be uh pretty hot. But then again, rend probably scales like shit and does no damage anyway. So yeah, uh, it, it it would be nice. It'd look great, but I I don't know how rend even is scaling in vanilla. Probably not great. I thought that they would only use that in PvP, but I'm. Um talking completely out of my ass right now i've had a couple of vodka dr pepper so only a couple from this point on the the show is just uh we're, we're in the we're in the pub right now we're, we're drinking pints well it's more just highlighting it well actually someone uh speaking of pints if you want a bit of entertainment during the podcast um someone when Stop. i was streaming on no, kick no no we're not doing a shoey um, okay, yeah. We're not linking to the shoeies either. That was That's in the past. When I was streaming on Kick a couple of days ago, I can't remember who it was. It might have been Stephen. Someone that I was, they was trying to convince me that I should drink Guinness. So I ordered four, ca four pint cans of Nitro Surge Guinness cans. Yeah. And the actual, good. I bought the, the uh, little device as well that you put the, the drink on. So mm -hmm. I'm going to give one of those a crack. Um, but I don't know how it works, so I'll have to find out. It's pretty good. Yeah, I've never been a Guinness fan, but we'll we'll see. Uh, there also vigilance on the helm, so focus your protective gaze on a party or raid member. I don't know why I've, I've paused on that word. Reducing their damage taken by 3% and transferring 10% of the threat they cause to you. In addition, each time they are hit by an attack, your taunt cooldown is refreshed. Last 30 minutes. Now this will this will be huge. Uh, the reason I laughed is because of um it is because of Alduar. And like I, I just when, as soon as I said the word gaze, I just started thinking about Goldar constantly shouting gaze on Discord and <laughs> turn around gaze. I'm what like, whoa, I'm really confused what's going on. Well what was the fight? It was the, the one with the arms and the head? Is that one the one that had a gaze? No, Yogg's are on. Oh, on Yogg? Oh. Lunatic gaze, isn't it? I, it it's been so long since I've been in Old War. Yeah. I, I think I blocked that out of my memory. I was in there for too many weeks. Yeah, and it would every time he said it, I'd just laugh because there'd be uh Yeah, I'm just I'm a child. Oh, I apologize. I, I remember now the green gaze, yeah. yeah you yeah, stood yeah. and you got one shot. Yeah. No, where it, it takes your it takes your sanity down. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna be quiet where you turn minute. away from the up. where you have to turn away from the boss. Okay, the last phase, got it. And you would go insane. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. What what was the beam called then? What was the green beam? Uh, Milady. Just laser beam. Oh, the green. No. Oh, the green beams. Uh, yeah. Just. I thought that was a gaze. Laser beam. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, paladins. Uh, so Paladin's Bracer, Improved Hammer of Wrath. Uh, engrave your Bracer with Hammer of Wrath. The cooldown on Hammer of Wrath reset each time it damages an enemy below 10% health. What? The cooldown of Hammer of Wrath is huh? reset each time it dam damages an enemy below 10% health. I I'm assuming it's only once, so you get a double usage out of it, and it's not just you can constantly spam it from 10%. Oh, it's like an execute. Yeah, I mean it. Hmm. Well, that, Salubaton that, plays Paladin all day, every day. So, what what do you think about that rune? <laughs> Absolutely, one hundred percent. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're in agreement. Scotty, do you concur? Uh, I, I, I you no. Know, so, uh, it, it, if it worked like in um in Kata, 
uh, with a like a kill shot, for example, for a hunter, or yeah, obviously um, hammer a wrath. When you use it and you've got it glyphed, if it doesn't kill the target, it resets, so you can use it again. But you can only you only get to use it twice. You know, you use it once and then it resets, and you can use it again. The way that reads is you could literally just spam hammer a wrath when the boss is on ten percent. I mean that would be absolutely nuts on uh, like Val in uh, in Blackwing Lair, wouldn't it? Yeah, you know, second boss in BWL. Mm-hmm. Um, that was a quick fight, anyways. Oh, uh, what, what was the one? Uh, one of the bosses started it. Oh well, that was that's the one that started at thirty percent. I thought there was yeah, another yeah. one that started low health, but yeah, that started at thirty percent. So like. It starts at 30%, but it's got a massive health pool. So, you know, it's still mm -hmm. sat, like, at 10% or lower for ages. Uh, like, improved Hammer of Wrath. If you could just spam Hammer of Wrath for 10% of the buzz's health, that would be, like, absolute nuts. Um, Hunter Main here. Tell Bhutan I say hello. She's my bestie. Oh, Louis Kelly. Thanks. Hunter, Hunter G. Uh, what else we got? Purifying power reduces the cooldown on exorcism and holy wrath by 50%. And holy wrath can now be cast at any target and will stun undead and demon targets for two seconds. Yeah, I mean, still probably lean more towards hammer. Oh, wrath. I think I'm thinking of the beta. I was like, isn't exorcism doing like a hell of a lot of damage right now? Uh, I don't know. My, pa my paladin's still 25. Yeah, my paladin still is 25. I mean, it, it does reasonable damage. I mean, if you're talking about my, my, me one shot and everything with exorcism on Kata, I mean, yeah, that yeah. was fun. Uh, fanaticism so increases your critical strike chance with holy spells by 18%. Uh, Where's the balanced druid rune that's like that? Everybody else is getting all this plus crit. Where, we'll, we'll get there. Crit. We'll get there. I'm just trying to tear through them. Obviously, if any, if, if either of you got any comments on any of these runes as I'm reading them out, feel free. Um, but, uh, unless I talk about balanced druid crit, then we have to move on. But there's nine classes to get through. <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh, improved sanctuary increases the damage prevented by your blessing of sanctuary by 100 percent. Increases the damage done by your blessing of sanctuary by 30 percent of your shield block value. Yeah. Uh, Light's Grace, your Holy Light spell reduces the cast at the time of your next Holy Light by half a second. That's really nice. I mean, it's only a ta it's a Wrath talent, but yeah, that's really nice. Uh, and then Wrath, your Consecration damage can now be Critical Strikes, and damage from Exorcism, like Holy it. Shock, Holy Wrath, and Consecration gain uh, additional Critical Strike chance equals your melee crit. I mean, it, there's just like, no, there's not even, it's not close. Like what you would use there, you know, as pro or ret, I'd be running Wrath. I wouldn't be using Improved Sanctuary. Cool. Um, hunters, what did Hunters get? They've only got two, so this is easy. Uh, focus Fire on the Bracers uh, consumes all application of Frenzy from your pet, increasing your range attack speed by three percent and granting four focus uh, to your pet for each application of Frenzy consumed. Your pet gains Frenzy each time it uses a basic attack. Increasing its melee attack speed by six percent for ten seconds, stacking five times. So yeah, it's a double, like a, a, a double ability rune. Um, but frenzy is in vanilla, isn't it? The hunters in the BM tree. I have never played a hunter. I think the highest hunter I got was like level sixteen. Or is it TBC when that comes in? Any big brain hunters in chat? I, I've, I've, yeah, I, I've not leveled a hunter to, well, past twenty five. Actually, past, yeah, past twenty five. In sod. And then the other bracer rune. TNT and Graveyard Bracer. Dynamite. TNT rune. Oh, sorry. It increases TNT. the damage done by explosive shot and all your damaging traps by 10%. Uh, are hunters happy about that one either? Like, I feel like hunters have gotten nerfed so much this phase that 10% trap damage. They're probably not looking too forward to that one. Yeah, I mean, uh, that, that's what seems weird, Dan, the fact that it's in in BM and then you can get it without being BM um, as part of a, a, a rune. But yeah. again, these are none of these are 100%. I mean, none of these are even 50% that they're going to be in the game. You know what I mean? It's just they've been found in the game files. So we'll look at them. Now we've got Rogue, which... Yeah, you can read Rogue. Rogue. So <laughs> 
Oh, I can. Damn, you found it out. I was letting you read them all. <laughs> we got uh, Engrave Helm Combat Potency. You have a 20% chance to gain 15 energy every time you deal melee damage with your offhand weapon. Would would that be a rune you might want to put into your helm, Salu? Sure. What the <laughs> He's like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't really play a rogue. Well, you're, you're leveling yeah. one. I thought you might... Yeah. Might know a little I bit. don't even remember what rune she has. I know it's not all of them. Do you have at least one rune for sl like per slot right now on the rogue? No, I don't. Ooh. I do not, Ooh. don't even have a hat on her. And you're level 38? Yes. I'm going to log on and buy a helm off the auction house for you and send it to you. Don't yeah. worry. Oh, no, and she does have one. It's a cereal bowl. That's right. <laughs> was, it's going to have a rune in it, too, when I send it. <laughs> and it's going to be combat potency. Uh, the uh, the oh, one, one, one thing, just going back to Hunters, because um, uh, like RNS mentioned, Lone Wolf. Um, what I'd love to see, and this will be maybe unpopular amongst Hunters, but I used to love it personally. So I, I actually mained a Hunter um, for the final tier of Warlords of Draenor, um, purely because... Um, was it Siege Master Black Fuse where it had the uh the the like escalator belts that you had to jump and disengage up on and then avoid the bombs? Uh, n like I must have played with useless people and it wound me up so much that I was like, I'll just level a hunter and I'll do it. Um, and I used to love the 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 old that well the the wad style sniper training where the longer you stood still, the more damage you done. Where it went like red. Yeah, like it was like a traffic light system. Um, and you wanted to sort of minimize the movement and try and keep yourself planted as much as possible. I, 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 I that, that system alone, that plus Lone Wolf, would make me want to play a, a Hunter. Well, Scotty, they had the same thing for Mage as well. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, Rune of Power. Yes, and since since you're playing a Mage, you would... You I'd might take Rune of Power. Mage. Yeah, yeah, I liked Rune of Power as well. Uh, Rune of Power was a, a little bit easier because you could have multiple runes down at a time and just move between two spots but yeah i i like rune mm -hmm. of power uh sorry carry on you're good uh another helm rogue data mind rune was uh focused attacks so you gain two energy every time you deal a melee or ranged critical strike and i have gotten completely shit on by rogues and they are critting their asses off already so i would imagine this would Almost be a guaranteed like two energy every ability that they're using. And then the last helm is Honor Among Thieves. When any player in your party critically hits... Oh, this was one that got nerfed back in the day, I think, right? Like When any player in your party critically hits with a spell or ability, you gain a combo point on your current target. This effect cannot occur more than once every second. So it's it would be pretty much guaranteed an extra combo point every second. Like for the entire fight. Yeah. So in um in three point or three point oh point eight would it have been um in Nax three point oh point six. Yeah, in Nax originally. Um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Just in Nax originally. I had to correct you to a, an incorrect. But did you incorrectly <laughs> correct me? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> it, no, it never had that bit there. The effect like could only occur more than once every second. So. You just had sub rogues yeah. literally just running in, and all they would do is press slice and dice, eviscerate, 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 eviscerate. It, like it was mental. Uh, it got it got fixed fairly quick, but I uh, like I, I remember when that was first sort of not 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 found out, but you know most rogues were playing like assassination, and then uh, some some clever dick must have gone sub, and you know. Then every rogue was sub until they nerfed it, and then sub was never played again in Wrath. But yeah. And then the, the last rogue rune, there was one boot rune, and that was rolling with the punches. No, no. Each time you dodge, boat. what? Boat, boots are boots are in. Boots and belts are in. Oh, oh, that was bracer. So yeah, we're we're good on rogues then. Uh, no, no, yep. no bracer runes, right? No, no, no bracer runes. So it's priest next, starting from despair. Mm, I'm trying to find. I see dispersion is a boot. 
We, we have. Boots. We're not doing boots. We're, we're doing bracers, bracers. <laughs> bracers and helm. I told you from this point on, <laughs> you're not getting much out of me. Engrave bracers despair. Periodic damage from your spells can now be critical strikes. I feel like a lot of spell casters are getting this style of rune. I think balanced druids at some point will as well. And uh, locks, I think, have one once we get to the warlocks. But uh, we had consecration earlier for paladins. I, I, uh, I, I think the these... ability that could crit. I think these runes will make it in. The ones that that, that are buffing. Yeah, dots making them be able to crit, and yeah, I, I do think that those will make it into phase three. Or I would, I'd put money on it. Is there anything that doesn't crit that you would like to see that would crit Salubathon? Are there like totems, like a flame totem of flame oh, I, something I like... or something that might right. not crit right now? Sorry, not that I know of. Oh, maybe they would get like healing rain could crit or something. I don't know what a shaman would gain from something that would crit that doesn't currently crit. Yeah, because all of our spells, like healing's instant. What about they got something like 30% of your crit is converted into haste? Can start getting getting haste on a shaman. I mean, that would be yeah. Uh, that would be awesome. That'd be pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, they need to cast faster. Their <laughs> lightning bolt isn't fast enough. Exactly. <laughs> uh, All right. What, what was the next? We have surge of light. A surge of light. Critical spell cast caused your next smite, flash heal, or binding heal cast within fifteen seconds to be instant cast. Wait. We have a voice actress right here in the chat that's not reading these runes. What am I? What Scott? What are you doing? What am I doing? We have a professional here. All right, well, <laughs> that means get, I get paid for it. Get the professional Ooh, doing a job. True, true. Go, Scott go, go! I'll pay you. Do a shoey. Five, five gifted subs on your next stream, Scotty said. Oh, I'm down. If you read the runes, oh, I'm down. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll keep reading them. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, critical spell cast cause your next smite so they said that they weren't going to have smite priests and then they add a smite priest rune yeah but that's just that's uh that that is a a, a a talent that exists and they've just kept all the same abilities on it mm. um but no. binding hill if priests already got binding hill i don't feel like binding hills in the game is it is that when they heal somebody else and it heals themselves and, and at the yourself same time? at the same time? Yeah, I it's just not a rune that I remember actually seeing for priests. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I've never really played priest either. I need to branch out and play other classes. Good night, Jules. Uh, what do, what else do we have? We were at void zone. Summons a void zone in the target area that deals uh, some shadow damage to enemies that stand within it every second for ten seconds. That's cool, and that that yeah, I mean that that would be uh, you know sticking a void zone down and then mind searing. I can get on board with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shadow damage. So like, I wonder if like healing priests would try to sneak that in there too on certain bosses. Uh, so it depends on the mana cost, don't it? And what bracer? Uh, they'd be losing there. surge of light, which surge of light is not not massive. In, yeah, an instant cast. I mean, flash heal is already. Wait, oh, the next binding heal. Yeah, if binding heal is a long cast time. Then maybe. Yeah, divine aegis. Critical heals create a protective shield on the target, absorbing thirty percent of the amount healed. Pretty boring. Yeah, they've got to have some more helm options, but that one's looking pretty bad for for one of the choices. Next, we've got Shaman. We've been waiting for Shaman. <laughs> Salu's like, uh eh. Yeah, go ahead and read off the helm embracer ones. Oh, yeah. There yeah, ain't yeah. any. So I'm, sc <laughs> I'm scrolling down, scrolling down. <laughs> the first thing I look for. We're down to mage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shaman was quick. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for the input there. <laughs> All right. Well, what would you put there, Solo? If you could just make one, one, one rune 
It can be hell more braces. I want a uh, rune for your helm. Gives you the ability to summon a uh, an elemental. Doesn't matter which one. A fire ellie, yeah. big fire ellie. Or a water ellie as a resto. That would be cool, wouldn't lust. it? Braces, bloodlust. Yeah. I was just thinking, you know, like yeah. if it was a yeah, like if there was it, the the head rune slot was actually all it was was ellies. So there was earth ellie for tanks, there was fire ellie for DPS, and then there was water ellie for healers. And like you know, the fire ellie one while it's up, it puts a I don't know, it puts a stacking dot on the target that also increases your spell power and attack power. For a tank one and while it's arcane up, arcane damage taken. Yeah, I was saying yeah, while the while the, the nature damage you'd want. Why would you want arcane? Uh, or arc or because <laughs> stars. For <are>. you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the healing one. Yeah, I don't know. It, when when it's hitting, you're gaining MP five and it's healing a bit, maybe like atonement type thing. That'd be cool. Uh, anyway, mage. Mage. Uh, Bellfire Bolt, mate. Bracers. Bellfire Bolt. This was teased. I'm calling him out. Tim Jones said something about this in an interview that he was really excited for Bellfire Bolt to be played with. Yep. And uh, this is the longest tooltip yet. I'm going to need to get paid for this one, Scotty. Uh, oh, do you want me to just here. break it down that it does X amount of damage? <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And if you cast it 10 times without letting the stacks drop off, you die. That's it. Oh, it's that one. Yeah, every, every cast reduces your spirit by 10%. When you reach zero spirit, you die. But obviously, it does 10% more damage per cast. So you could cast it nine times, uh, uh, and it will do a lot of damage. But then if you accidentally cast it at a tenth time, you're dead. Or you wait 30 seconds for the, for the debuff to fall off. But Tim Jones, you're correct. He did say he's looking forward to seeing what mages do with Balfire Bolt. So I would say this is 100% coming. Hundred oh, percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't wait for the first clips of people dying to it and being like, "What just killed me?" <laughs> uh, it is on Wow Ed. I'll put a, uh, I'll put a link in chat. I'll read out the URL, Scotty. It's fine. So it's wowhead.com forward slash classic slash news slash season dash of dash discovery. You're gonna let me read the whole thing? Like you're not gonna cut me off? No, no, carry on. Oh, okay. He's typing uh, it out, dash, as you say. Phase dash two dash data mine dash runes dash wow dash classic dash three three seven four five seven. You got that? Boom. There's the URL. <laughs> uh, don't forget the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot at the start of that URL. All right, Balefire Bolt looks pretty fucking busted, and I hope May just kill themselves with it. And in game, and uh, we see some corpse clips as of them i mean i, de I definitely would i'd just be spamming spamming bellfire bolt <laughs> while drinking on stream i guarantee no, i'll kill myself on the first on. bus mages are gonna just completely go through that and expect a battle rest from me and they're not gonna get it i'm just gonna be rolling on the floor laughing like nope sorry you're well, not getting a b res i wonder if the it, what the debuffs are like you know if it could be bopped off or something like that so you could cheese it. Like, if Bellfire Bolt was super strong and you could, uh, I don't know, go, like, Arcane Frost so you could get down to Ice Block. So you could spam it nine times, Ice Block. Spam it nine times, Bop. You know, like, and all, all literally do is pressing one button. <laughs> I'd be down. <laughs> yeah, I'd be down, too. We've got... <laughs> In great bracers displacement <laughs> teleports back to where you last cast blink from and resets the cooldown. Why are you I'm laughing, laughing at? I'm not crying. I'm laughing. Oh, I just got a <laughs> nothing. <laughs> what am I? Displacement teleports you back where you last cast blink from and resets the cooldown on blink. I, I think they've had this before. Normally, I, I know what he's laughing mage. about, but I don't know what he's laughing about now. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, only usable within 10 seconds of casting blink uh, displacement. Yeah, mages need a little bit extra movement around uh, the battlegrounds and in raids. I think this is a great bracer rune, but I don't know if they're going to take that over the uh, the bellfire bolt, Scott. I don't know, mate. Because <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. 
Uh, you don't want to know. It's fine. I really do. I really want to know. <laughs> uh, no, uh, nobody can see it, but uh, I mean, I can see it. Uh, are, you, are you wearing pants, mate? Yeah. Well, oh, could you see my balls hanging out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a little, a little sack there. I thought this was going to be the second stream <laughs> that had to get turned off and <laughs> VOD deleted because of a ball sack. No, you can't. I'm sat like this. You can't see my balls hanging out. I mean, one one of the streams was enough, but two of them. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Have you got pants on? They're just quite short shorts. <laughs> that, that's fine. Your thighs are looking great, man. Oh, good. <laughs> Oh, I have to watch how I sit now. <laughs> no, you don't. I was enjoying it. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to say anything, because now I can't look at him anymore. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't even know what you were saying now. I'm thinking about my balls hanging out. <laughs> Dis me too. Displacement. <laughs> <laughs> Teleports back to where you last guys blink from and resets the cool the cooldown on blink, which is only like 15 seconds. Only usable within 10 seconds of casting Blink. Uh, pretty sick for PvP in particular, but I could probably see some some raid uses for that as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, depending on how strong Balfire Bolt is. Uh, what I said before is I'd want to see a, a rune slot, whether it's braces, head, shoulders, whatever, where it's all movement. You know, it like gives all all classes get some form of yeah, movement like displace a beast for for druids. Uh, your face is just making me laugh. <laughs> I can't help it. All right, we got the last bracer rune, molten armor. Uh, causes some fire damage when hit. This used to proc the uh the stun too. When like melee would proc, uh, melee would hit a mage with molten armor, they could stun themselves, right? And increases your spell crit by 5% and reduces the chance you are critically hit by 5%. Only one type of armor can be active on a mage at a time. In the last 30 minutes. Mm. Yeah, depending on, you know, whether you need to use mage armor or not to be able to get through a fight, you know, mana regen wise. But yeah, yeah. obviously for fire, 5% crit. Yeah, absolutely. The chance being critically hit, like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, there's just a nice little PvP bonus for fire mages. But <laughs> PvP mages will probably go Frost. All right, we got Engrave Helm Deep Freeze. I'm going to get a drink. Uh, okay, I need to, too. Uh, uh, my cheeks hurt from grinning so much. Uh, so Deep Freeze stuns the target for five seconds. Uh, usable only on frozen targets. So if you like Frost Nova, you have to wait a GCD. If they don't break out of that Nova, you can pop your Deep Freeze on them and stun them. Uh, and damage the target too. Uh, to targets permanently immune to stun. Oh, so if they're immune to stun, it does damage. Okay, but yeah, I, I remember deep freezing a lot of people when I played a mage. You deep freeze into a sheep. You could probably grounding totem this deep freeze if you like pre totem the deep freeze. Those are big plays as a shaman. Just giving you giving you a little PvP advice. I don't know how much you PvP. It's Crusader Strike. It's a PvP Thanks. server. That's true. Yeah. And then the last Mage Helm. My cheeks are sore. I'm going to need an ice pack to put on them. Uh, launches an orb of temporal energy, which slowly moves forward, and every two seconds grants all nearby party members a shield. I want to see that one. And yeah, this guy look cool. Absorbing some damage for 15 seconds slowly. I want to know how slow it's moving. Because they, they nerfed the speed of Living Flame. And then now they have another slow ability. But this one, you I, th I think you kind of want it to be slow. We got we to gotta wait for Scotty to get back because I want to know what he thinks about this temporal anomaly before we go over to Warlock. Oh, I did. What's that? Just shout out, I like it. You like it? I like yeah, it. I mean, I like deep freeze though. So the choice between deep freeze and temporal anomaly, deep freeze, uh, if you use it on a boss, since it's permanently immune to stun, it would just do damage. It wouldn't stun the boss. So you could use it as a DPS thing, which 
frost mages need all the damage that they can in raids so uh, i like that as a, a dps option but i guess that would be the healer rune yeah the temporal yeah anomaly. temporal anomaly would be the healer rune and deep freeze more pvp rune to be honest with you um yeah obviously it's nice yeah, that yeah. it does damage when they're permanently immune to stun uh but yeah it, it's still frost pvp rune there's no real good like fire pve rune there or even or even arcane a fire rune um probably fire starter they can cast scorch while moving uh, that was a rune that i wanted for balanced druid uh so i could cast wrath while moving and it could also be used by like a resto druid or something Mm, yeah I, I forgot i forgot all about that the last time we were talking about like runes i'm like which runes you'd want to see i'm like i want to be able to move and cast as a boomy well it, I, it would either be that either fire starter or a combustion rune that changes combustion to work like cata onwards combust because combustion's pretty shit man like yeah, it gives you crit, like, great. But I, if it worked the same way as the, the future combustion, I'd be all over that. But, yeah, we're, we're, that, combustion's already in the game. So, you know, I, I can't see that changing. So we'll go, we'll go with Firestar. All right, Warlock has five, three bracers, two helm. Emulation Aura, I've heard a lot about. Uh, burns nearby enemies for a lot of damage every two seconds and reduces all magic damage taken by 10%, lasts until cancelled. Uh, is that just a tank rune? I mean, it'd be pretty sick against PvP, like especially duels, but I mean... I mean, uh, yeah, I, I would assume Emulation Aura would, it, it would require demonology form. Metamorphosis. If it uh, don't require metamorphosis, that's uh, yeah, pretty pretty weird. But it doesn't it's say requires metamorphosis, but I would assume it does. Mm -hmm. They can. Uh, they've got how many pets do they have right now? They've got imp. They've got void. They've succubus. got the yeah the succubus fell hunter. So this would be this would just round out their their pet toolkit. Summons a fell guard under the command of the warlock. The fell guard benefits from all talents and effects that trigger from or benefit any of your other demon minions. Yeah, uh, the fell the fell guard is like the dog pet, right? So that's like the one that interrupts. No, that's and, the fell hound. Uh, the fell hound. Oh, the, the fell guard stuns, charge stuns. Yeah, yeah, fell guard's the big one with okay. with um, Arcanite Reaper. And then they've got unstable affliction. I. The, I always struggle facing warlocks, and all of these runes are just like, man, I don't want to face a warlock with any of these. And unstable affliction uh, <laughs> is another one. Shadow energy slowly destroys the target uh, over 15 seconds. In addition, if the unstable affliction is dispelled, it will cause some damage to the dispeller and silence them for five seconds. Only one UA or emulate per warlock can be active on any one target. So at least that last part's in there. The thing is, but until yeah. until they start buffing but damage, like affliction just ain't gonna be used. I mean at sixty, who knows? But you know, bosses die so fast and dots just hit like fucking like wet noodles. Um uh, I mean, you have got the helm rune, you know, pandemic coming up where they they'll start yeah, to be yeah, able yeah. to crit, which that that, that could that could change it around, don't get me wrong, but as we stand at the moment, there's not many Affliction Warlocks. Would that not make those two runes kind of like mandatory to put together and then it just kind of like oh, ruins yeah. the rune slots? Yeah, like, you, you would have to put them yeah. together, 100%. Yeah, so before we get to Pandemic, we've got Backdraft. Your Conflag ability also grants 30% spellcasting haste for 10 seconds. That sounds pretty sick to me. And then Pandemic, uh, Periodic... Damage from your Corruption, UA, COA, Immolate, Curse of Doom, Siphon Life abilities will now, or can now, be critical strikes. So yeah, like I, I feel like Shadow Priest, I think, might have a rune like that already. Or if not, I think, maybe we, did we touch on a Shadow Priest rune with crits? We did want something. Uh, I don't think Priest yes. had one, did it? Oh, oh did it? 
Oh, yeah, despair. Yeah, periodic damage from your spells can going to have a critical yeah. strike. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's right. a f level, f level 50. Dots are critting. Well, that leads to the last, the, the last class. Oh, we can skip oh, it. It's only favorite. Druid. We can skip oh, yeah, it. It's yeah, only yeah. Druid. Let's move on. Let's move on. So the next URL is wowhead.com slash nine. Uh, well, go on. <laughs> you do these ones then as, uh, oh, right. as, as they're Druid. I mean, there's, what, yeah, four? Yeah. Uh, five, five. five yeah. uh, I I can count. You can't. Ha! We've got two bracers and three helms for the first time. Your swift mint. Oh, efflorescence. Uh, bracer rune. Your swift mend now also causes efflorescence, healing all party members within fifteen yards of the swift mend's target location for a lot of healing every two seconds for thirty seconds. Yeah, pretty boring. Just standard, standard yeah. green shit on the floor. Yes, yeah, st stand in the leaves that are coming up from the ground, and uh, you'll get some heals. And then we've got Improved Frenzied Regen. Your Frenzied Regeneration can now be used in all forms, or, well, not shapeshifted. It now converts your active resource into health every second for 10 seconds, up to 10 rage, 10 energy, or 5% base mana is converted per point, per point, per second. Not even per point. I need to take a break is converted per second into up to 10% health. We can just clip out all those incorrect uh, words that I threw in there for no reason. Yeah, weird, but weird, weird. Be... Like, that's, a, that's a lot of mana. I mean, it's only base mana, yeah, but 5% yeah. five, five base mana for 10% health. Per second. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah, nice in PvP. 50% or, base mana. Or yeah. for tanks, you know, but uh, that's, that's really about it, isn't it? Like there is no other bracer option PvP. at the moment, so you, you know, like if you're talking like feral DPS or or even boomy, like you know, looking at these, there is no other option anyway, is it? You know, you'd, you'd be using this. I wouldn't mind it, but yeah, I'd, I'd also like to be able to do more damage. This would make me more tanky if I was soloing something, which I tend to do. But yeah, I'll, I want to do some damage. We need damage. Look at the the damage from phase three. What class is up top, Salubaton? Damage, Gnomer, phase three. Shaman. Yes. <laughs> You're enhanced too, right? Because I we never yeah. specified. Yeah, enhance. Like, perfect. So you're, you're top of your raids, right? Top of my rage? Raids. Raids, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Top damage every, every fight, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. If I'm paying attention, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got Engrave Helm Galewinds. This is one that needs to be further buffed, in my opinion. Increases the damage done by a hurricane by 100%. It no longer has a cooldown, and its mana cost is reduced by 20%. I want uh, this to also have Hurricane be able to crit, and I'll be a, a happy boomy. Kind of. I'd still, it's still not enough. The 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 boomies that have my back, they're like, bro, that's still not enough. And they don't do I any. Hurricane just don't do any damage. It it's just not... doesn't. It scales horribly. It's got a 0.03% like spell power coefficient. It's it's nothing. You have a hundred spell power and it it does nothing. <laughs> We've got Engrave Helm Gore. Striking a target with lacerate swipe or maul has a 15% chance to reset the cooldown on Mangle Bear. Striking a target with Mangle Cat or Shred has a 5% chance to reset the cooldown on Tiger's Fury. Oh, I that mean, that, I that's insane. Sounded cool. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's that's insane. And especially with, uh, you know, the, the fact that um, bloody, what's it called? Fucking Wolf's Head Helm's going to come online next phase as well. So, like, power shifting and then having Tiger's Fury give you energy back and occasionally being able to get Tiger's Fury to reset, meaning you've got a power shift less. It's going to make the rotation feel a lot more... Like, the, my problem with power shifting has always been our, like, set in stone, it feels. You know, it's like... Shred, shred, power shift, shred, shred, power shift. You know, it's like there's nothing exciting going on. But just that alone and the fact that we've got Tiger's Fury and it gives energy back as well. Like, yeah, that that's huge. That would be an, that would be enough. If that's one of the runes that comes in, I probably will level my Feral. I'll have, I'll have an ult in Phase 3. All right, in this last one, I was trying to find some more info on it really quick, but... I remember this one when it was first data mined, and it seemed like as long as you had, I think it was three 
uh, druids with this, you could have perma uptime of bark skin on like the tank. So engrave helm improve bark skin. Your bark skin can now be cast on allies. No longer penalizes melee combat speed or spell casting time, and can be cast while shape shifted. And I, I can't remember what the cooldowns and stuff were. Well, you it, it's a minute in in Wrath. Yeah. But what is it it's, in? Uh... It's, what's the duration? It, it's a minute. Uh, minute cooldown. But yeah, the duration of this I think was twenty seconds. So if you had three druids, fifteen. You just seconds. have perma twenty percent up. Yeah. Yeah. So 15? you'd need four. It's fifteen seconds. Four. Yeah. Okay. Four and a twenty player. That that that's reasonable. Yeah, and then you could just rotate it, and the tank could just have twenty percent less physical damage taken the entire fight. But, <laughs> yeah. but then you know it depends what other helm slots you're gonna have. But yeah, twenty percent physical damage just permanently on a tank that is pretty insane. <laughs> yeah, and that's the last of the runes. I was gonna really try my hardest and get some feedback on my voice acting i've been thinking of getting into it on that last rune and i i didn't i didn't full send it i need something else to read scotty give me something else uh yeah i'll tell you what read uh read uh engrave helm gore again engrave helm gore engrave your helm with the gore rune striking a target with lacerate swipe or maul has a 15 percent chance to reset the cooldown on mangle bear Striking a target with Mangle Cat or Shred has a 5% chance to reset the cooldown on Tiger's Fury. You sound like a really bad AI. R rate me like a uh, 1 out of 10. What what was I hitting at? That was fir first read through like ever. Uh, well done. Is that I like a 3 well done? Said. or 3. Yeah, I'd say 3. I agree with Zach. A three, 3 out of 10. It, it, it sounded oh. too much like AI. 1, one out of 4. Oh. You were a 3. One out of four. I was a what? That's that's. Are we doing frat? We're adding fractions together. <laughs> uh, right. What else have we got? Go. Uh, that's it for me, man. That that's all I had planned. Uh, but I'm open to hang out, do some more stuff. Uh, I mean, until we start getting some information, like I said, this was never going to be a particularly long one, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like next week, unless something big happens, I, I don't know about a sod episode next week, but Cataclysm, we've got loads to talk about for Cata on oh, Saturdays. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If there's no news, we might skip next week's episode because we've really scraped the barrel with uh, with looking at the runes, <laughs> looking at the runes that were found like two months ago. But yeah. All the cool kids are doing it anyways. Yeah, so we'll jump on the bandwagon. Well, I've got nothing else. Have you got anything else, Salou? No. I appreciate that. Cool. Well, Scrape, uh... scraping the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> not, not with the guest. Not with it. Not with a guest. You. He, was, he was talking about like to Just stuff topics. to talk about, talking points. Yeah, I, I, uh, we're at a point now where there's we just need something big. You know, the, the last couple of episodes with, uh, with just. Talked about whatever we can, but they're really we, we've it's got to the point now, yeah, where there's not really a lot to talk about. So yeah, if we get news, then obviously we'll be back next week. Um, either way, we'll be here on you know Saturday and the Saturday after. Um, Salou, where can people find you? I'll put all your details in the description anyway. On the internet. Awesome. <laughs> I'll put I'll put, I'll put a link in the description to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got twitch.com slash salubaton. We got uh, Instagram, salubaton, everything, salubaton. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, you can find me. If you Google salubaton, you'll find me. Because, uh, yeah. Uh, what are you streaming these days? Because I know you're streaming some classic WoW, but you tend to branch out into other games too. What else are you playing? Uh, I got into Nightingale a bit. And of course, Pal World. My go-to games for when I get burnt out on World of Warcraft is they are uh, Valheim and Project Zomboid. And you've got the uh, that bot that you can song request. I was yeah, I was a yeah. DJ the other night, and uh, I was having a blast. God, you suck so much. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing some old school emo songs, and it was it was fun for me. <laughs> God, I've not played Valheim for ages. I love I love Valheim. Used to have a lot of fun on that. 
what is it? The the Fire Lens. I forget the name of it, but it's coming out soon. Oh. Update. Cool. And go. Where can people find you? YouTube.com slash at classic go c l a s s i c g h o all your boomkin classic wow information uh i've got a a video planned if i can ever get around to it for all the spell changes and there's a lot of them from wrath into cataclysm well the bait is still down so you'll have plenty of time after this i was i was considering streaming after this but yeah i mean the bait is still down so i'll have an early night and uh, crack on tomorrow i reckon are you on the beta salute no, I don't want to be. Oh. No. Is it like spoilers? Like you don't want spoilers yeah. or? Oh, okay. I, I want to experience it with my uh, my friends, my family from the Wrath Guild that I'm in. That's fair. Cool. All right. Well, thank you both. Thank you, Salou, for coming on. Uh, go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Go, for just being a, a human. For, for making that amazing yeah. trivia at the start of the show if you didn't if you weren't here at the beginning go back to the vod it was it was some great information you could have taken away from that yeah the uh the the quiz was something pretty special all right cool all right well i'll uh, i'll sign us out so thank you as i say unless there's any big news we won't be here next week um not for season of discovery anyway but we will be here for cat so take care and goodbye Bye bye. You make the time for chase the paper. When last you say a prayer, we've got life.